All right. Good morning, everybody. Get everything on on radar here in just a sec. Uh, Sergio was first. Alex Altamirano was second. And Kelly was third. Good morning, Kelly. Yeah, we were just having some technical difficulties. So let's pull up MRM. Uh, that's the top of our list. Okay, MRM is about to break out right now. Be very careful. Get ready. 1513. If it can break 1513. So 1514. Uh, uh, you can get in uh, for a dollar fifty of risk. 1514. Good morning, everybody. Really? You were first? <laughs> that's awesome. All right, nanovericides we can get rid of. ONTX, let's see if it's going for a day two. Uh, not really, no. Uh, it's uh, more than a 50% retrace. S fix, stitch fix. Uh, actually, it may be going for another good day on stitch fix, uh, but that's not necessarily a day trade. Uh, just might be a good swing trade. Sava, no. Uh, way down at the bottom of the close. Fresh. Looks like it could go for a day two follow through. Toast. Uh, no, that one will probably not be making it. Uh, who got in fresh yesterday? Who's still in fresh? Um, if you are, uh, make sure that it was for the full risk length to the bottom of the candle when you do that overnight. Be careful holding your day trades overnight. Don't ever do that. Uh, usually you want to size down uh, four-fifths, 80%. You want to exit 80% of your day trade. The risk for overnight is about 5x a day trade. So you'll get absolutely clobbered in situations if you don't uh, uh, follow that other rule. There's so many rules to making sure that you don't get obliterated in trading, and that's another one. All right, uh, Weemi. Weemi, no, not going to be following through on that. Uber. Uh, no, nah, it doesn't look like it will be following through. CRTD. Uh, no, totally crapped out. LPTX. No, won't be following through. POAI. No, won't be following through. AEMD. Absolutely not. Total crap out. Maybe they did a shelf offering. I mean, that, that one killed whoever was in it. RWLK. Uh, no, will not be following through today. Maybe in a month. CRVS. No. Lynn. Uh, no. Good morning, everybody on TikTok. How you doing this morning? Click like a bunch of times for me, will you? Gamer likes. Brrr. Let's get the stream popping. BSQR. I think some people in our group secretly like um, – uh, being able to do a gamer likes on TikTok so much that they they actually go over to TikTok and they pull out TikTok and they go on this stream right now and they give me gamer likes. <laughs> I, I'll bet you. BSQR, is it going to follow through today? No. Wow, look at you guys. All the way up to 2.5 thousand. Thank you very much. JCS. JCS is up to all-time high, I believe it is, or 52-week high, all-time high already in pre-market. So I'm going to keep JCS up. Uh, the volume might not be uh, what it used to be, uh, but uh, it's still pretty good. <clears throat> Ader, 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 uh, right on the precipice of maybe following through. It just had a very bad pullback just now, uh, and that's the issue at the moment. It was up to 17 uh, but just totally crapped out. I'll keep it on watch. Bros. I have bros right before best in case we ever trade hoes. Uh, that way I can have bros before hoes. Well, it's just you have to you know, make sure you got your priorities. Uh, but, oh, actually, okay, so bros, we're going to have to take off of uh, the radar. It's not going to be following through today. And best Let's take a look at that. Ooh, best is, yeah, popping off. So we'll keep best on the radar. Now, let's look at what's hot in the last 20 minutes. 
on the stock market chameleon. You can go to marketchameleon.com and check out pre-market trading anytime for that. How can I get myself like less overexposed? This screen is like driving me nuts on TikTok. Uh, Pfizer, yeah, we'll. A-M-H-C. There goes uh, MRM. Make sure you got your entrance on MRM. Who got it? Who got MRM entrance? $1.50 of risk. Now, let me check my – ah, yes. I'm going to get on a better network here on the TikTok. One second, TikTok people. I might cut off for a brief second. There we go. I think better. Smoother stream now. Oh, I know why it's making me overexposed because I haven't got any other sim. Good morning. Good morning. Tesla on the QS. What is up here? Okay. RNAS is not being pulled up. Let's try going to a different symbol and then pulling up again. All right. We'll see what comes up. RNAS, uh, AQN. No. Uh, FEDU. FEDU. What is FEDU? I don't know. Let's take a look at it. FEDU. Make some money, yes. Learning how to use Active Trader, Jamal. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Um, there's so much to learn about Toss. Like, it's going to take you months, really, uh, uh, unless you just use it like freaking 15 hours a day and you're clicking every button over and over. You know, then maybe it'll take you a few weeks. <laughs> there's so much, so much to look at there. Uh, I'm not getting a good connection to to these uh, tickers right now. Let me try uh, like um, Facebook. Will that come up? There we go. Now they're coming up. Okay. All right. RNAS a little bit faded, broke down after a failed retest. Uh, Fedu just broke down. Um, and then uh, MRM. As you may have noticed, if you got in, uh, did not follow through. So be a little bit on the defensive. Watch out for a 50% retrace uh, to the to the dollar fifty stop level. Uh, the stop is at 13.50 on MRM. Fedu, Arnaz, DBGI. Let's take a look at DBGI. Uh, you are? Okay, well, uh, that background noise and paper crackling, crackling might be um, bad Wi-Fi for the moment or something. All right, the market itself is on the decline right now, pretty heavy, um, but gold also on a very strong decline. So gold being the uh, institutional investor and hedge fund investor um, ATM machine. So somebody's pulling out gold. Somebody's pulling out money out of gold right now and getting ready to do something with it. And this market pullback right now might be just the reason why they're pulling some money out of gold. So they can slip it in uh, when the market is down. All right, MRM is somewhat holding. We have 17 minutes until the market opens. 
SoFi, uh, not looking good. No. Uh, let me double check. Yeah, no. SoFi, not looking good. The dead cat bounce. RNAS, DBGI, Nero. Let's pull up Nero. Yeah, Kelly, and you guys, that's just the Wi-Fi. It's not the uh, headset. I don't think. Let me switch over to the other mic, Kelly, and you guys, let me know if this mic is any better. No, and there. <coughs> I switched over to this other mic. Is it just as bad? Because then it's the stream. Okay, good. All right, so uh, there we go. All right. Battery 80%. Weird. Palantir, yeah, it's on the uptick. Like like I said the other day, uh, it could be good to get into a swing now on Palantir. I'm not alerting it for the group, but there could be a good swing there. AMHC, MRM, Neuro, uh, Hillbillies is yeah moving along a little bit on lower volume. I'll put that on the bottom of the screen. Uh, <laughs> Hellbiz or something it's called, uh, but I like to call it Hillbillies. So it went from 25 to 32. That is quite a spike, but it uh, pulled back almost almost 50 percent. I think it must be just more hype. And uh, what are we going after? Neuro DTSS at 229. There's Hillbillies. All right, I'll take a look at DTSS. Okay, and then we have Joby. And now let me look at the bigger market caps and let's see if we've got anything unusually up on the bigger market caps. CRM is up 3%. That's more than the market. That's relative strength. CRM. Uh, Roku also. Uh, U. Uh, U. Uh, and then uh, is up 4.4%. Also uh, relative strength. Very strong this morning. Um, DRI. And AMC is actually up 3.4%. Not much, but it's moving. Let's see what's going on. AMC. No, not really. Not, not really anything significant. But I'll keep it on radar down here at the bottom. And I'll take a quick look at GME of the same. No, GME not doing anything. Agilent is up. All right, nice. Uh, so see how MRM is just pulling back after that just all it did was just like a micro breakout is a total fake out and uh when a when a breakout does not follow through that is a fake out you are now inside once you realize you're inside of a fake out you need to instead of being on the offense and looking to take profits you need to be on the defense and be looking to de-risk looking for excuses to de-risk a 50 percent retrace would be the first excuse to de-risk so um That'll get you out before your full risk, which is good. Uh, De-risking like 25 to 50%, even up to 80% in some situations. Uh, let's see, moving down the list. Plug is up 5.1%. I'll pull that up. How's everybody doing on TikTok? Uh, let me get these uh, stocks labeled up for you guys over on TikTok now that uh, I, I know you guys don't know what we're looking at. RNAS. MRM, AMHC, <clears throat> DBGI, FEDU, Neuro. Today is open house day on our Discord, so uh, just click the link in my bio, go over to my profile, and you can come in for free and check it out all day long today. Live trade with us, join the Zoom, enjoy the day with us. I just click the link in my bio in order to get in there. So you have to go over to my profile. You have to click through to my profile. It's not here in the live. All right, there we go. All right, moving down the list. So we were looking at plug, plugs, making some progress. Yes. Up at 20. 28 to start and is now at 28.34. It may grind up today. MR, MRIN, I think you mean, all right? Marin software, MRIN. Yeah. Thursday this week. This week, Thursday, because of the Fed meeting yesterday, yeah. The market would have been just dead all day yesterday. 
and it was pretty much dead all day yesterday. Um, the VIX actually hit a 19 this morning. Excellent to be back below 20 again. Very important to be below 20 on the VIX, as Kelly knows. <laughs> uh, he knows how long we had to wait for that in last year. Uh, still moving down the list. 8.4% for Joby. And did I pull up Joby? No. Let's take a look at Joby. <clears throat> Okay, Joby looks good. 9.7 closed yesterday. It's all the way at 10.5 today. The volume is 241,000, so <coughs> it is building up some volume. Champagne, that's right. 6.8% on BlackBerry. That's more than uh, AMC. So BlackBerry may be moving more than AMC. Mm, looks like it's faded and failed to retest twice. Uh, hasn't broken down yet, so there could be a nice short there waiting for you. If you can get shares to short on BlackBerry uh, and the price breaks below 1015, it's likely heading all the way back to uh, the open. I mean, the yesterday's close 9.5 by the end of the day. So there could be a nice short there on BlackBerry shaping up. Easy short, easy money. 6.8 BlackBerry and uh, going down the list. Um, uh, looking for anything, anything up a lot. BTU is up 4.1%. That's good relative strength. PCT up 5.6%. But, you know, anything under 20%, we're really reaching 10% in big caps, of course. But anything under 20% uh, is not going to be a momentum uh, breakout trade. Okay, that's uh, down to the billion level. SLA is up 6.4%. And then there's Hillbillies with a 718 million market cap that they probably never dreamed they would have. They're about to be a billion dollar company, Hill, HLBC, whatever it is. So uh, Tesla uh, is, let's take a look at Tesla for a quick second for you Tesla buffs. Um, Tesla is trading currently in pre market above yesterday, was yesterday's high. So that's good progress for Tesla. It is pulling back after a failed retest and breakdown right now, uh, but the overall trend is up. It just may be a rough ride today. That's a, definitely a sign of a rough ride and not smooth action. CRDL, somebody asks. Is Marin good for a short? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I would think so. Um, if you can get shares to short. Mastered and are profitable trading stock shares for a minimum of one year. Stay away from day trading options. You will lose your money. You will lose all your money. Stay away from day trading options. Be very careful. Moderna. Moderna is just hanging out right in the mid middle of its range. Pfizer, somebody wanted me to look at earlier. <clears throat> Aders gapping up. Okay. I have yeah, Aders up. It's not on this not on your screen. You got to click through the link in my bio and join my Zoom. Uh, but it's on the right side of my screen that you can't see. But yeah, I've got Ader up. It's completely crapped out. Completely crapped out. It's not even gapped up anymore. It's down. Is there a swing on UMC? Because you missed the swing two weeks ago. Well, it usually doesn't work that way, but sometimes it does. <laughs> Let's see. That's pretty funny. Um, can't say I like UMC. Uh, so, no. BLU, yeah, it's popping. Let's keep that up. Neuro, uh, we have that here, I believe. Yeah, right here. Neuro. If Neuro breaks 1483, uh, you can get in for a dollar of risk. Neuro. It's about to happen. Uh, if you have pre-market trading ability, <clears throat> Neuro. <coughs> MRM is starting to tick up a little bit. Show some signs of improvement. 
uh, it could end up becoming a failed retest and a breakdown of the neckline level. The neckline level is what? Let's figure it out. Who's got me? Who can figure out what is the neckline inner trend breakdown neckline level for, uh, when you're on the defense on MRM? Well, we know RJ could get it. No, RJ, that is incorrect. We actually got RJ got one wrong. <laughs> The neckline inner trend break line level. Bar right now fail to retest the high. Where is the breakdown neckline breakdown level on the inner trade? It's an exit signal for de risking when you're on the defense, not when you're on the offense. You know, the defense. I think probably RJ. Uh, that day or something. Anyway, it's 14.5. Yeah, there you go. Richard got it. Richard got it. Got it. If 14.5 breaks down on MRM, that would mean, RJ, that this recent second attempt to break 15.1 was a failed retest. And then if it breaks 14.5 down, then it would break down this little inner trend movement that it's making. It's not the major trend, it's the minor trend. And when you're on the defense, you're paying attention to that. Yeah, and then you can de-risk uh, or exit your entire position right there. So that's a better way to lose less than 1% per trade. <clears throat> Everybody on TikTok, how's it going? All right. Let's see if I can get it to tone down the overexposure a little bit. Uh, right, what are we up to? We're up to 10,000 likes on TikTok. Way to go. I mean, with all of you here, uh, see if you can give me some gamer likes. Stop, gamer stop. Like that, just likes, like that, likes. Let's see if we can get it up to, I don't know, 15,000, maybe even 20,000. When you're 46, you don't need to go very long. You just get it done with right away. <laughs> There's no reason to fuck around. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, sorry about that. The <laughs> internet's pretty bad. Okay, so that experiment didn't go <laughs> didn't go too well. Uh, we got cut off of the cut off of the stream. Not going to be doing that again. Uh, the internet uh, Ethernet connection here is uh, failing me. You are failing me, Jedi. <laughs> all right, but I'm back. Thank God. Okay. Good morning, all. Yeah, good morning to you. All right, let me pull up this uh, this stream again over here in the Zoom. You guys couldn't hear me at all during that, huh? Did we disappear? Did I disappear? Yeah, all together. Lost you all together now. Lost you all together now. <laughs> oh, God, if only you guys could know what I'm thinking of. It's a joke from Airplane, a very old movie. 
I have you back. Great. And stop calling me Shirley. Lucid, big letters. Oh, the big letters are gone. All right, yes. Thank you for reminding me so quickly. Uh, let's put them all back up. Fresh. Joby, if you want to see all the tickers and everything we got going on, go to my profile. Click the link in my profile. Come on over to the Discord and then click the Zoom link. And you can join in for free today into the zoom and then you'll have my screen in 4k and uh, with almost zero lag very low lag might be a second or two we have 151 uh, so far this morning before the opening bell the bell is opening in 30 seconds guys uh, MRM is starting to follow through uh, and neuro just broke out if you can get neuro uh, for a dollar of risk right now get into neuro uh, otherwise, wait for the market to open. That's when you really find out what it's made of and if it's going to crap out or if it's going to run today. How do people feel about it? Here we go. Market's opening in 13 seconds. <clears throat> All right. MRM is pushing up. It is not failing at the open. It is pushing up. Uh, no, we got some profit taking, a lot of volatility right on the open as usual. Uh, okay, watch out. MRM is crapping out. If it hits 14.5, cut your position. If you haven't gotten in yet, uh, then uh, you can wait until the 15.5 breakout and then you can get in for a dollar of risk on MRM. Neuro is running. Neuro is at 15.45, I believe now. So uh, you want to be taking profits underneath every 50 cent level. And pull Neuro up on the high speed setup. There we go. Now, don't they trade options? I highly recommend it. Uh, recommend against it. Use shares. Joby, uh, breaking out right now uh, for, well, it looks like about 20 cents of risk. It's at 10.54, 20 cents of risk. Uh, stop at 10.3, Joby, J-O-B-Y. When you uh, day trade stocks, uh, shares, or options, uh, you need to use the 1% rule to figure out how many shares you can buy. How the hell can you figure out, how the hell does anybody uh, know how many shares to buy? You have to have some calculation to know how many shares you're going to buy. Uh, so uh, that is how you figure it out. You use the 1% rule. Stitch fix, totally crapping out. The market right now actually rallying. SPY, the Dow, and the Qs rallying. And oil popping up to 72.5 from 71.5 this morning. So we've got in blue, uh, we had a couple breakouts here. Blue also broke out. Uh, just now for about 50 cents of risk. I don't know where blue is going to go. BLU. Nero is pulling back. Going to watch your stop at 14. 14 stop out. Did anybody get some profits uh, at 1545 on Nero? And uh, MRM. MRM is holding right in the middle, but it's not following through. So that's not necessarily a great sign. You want to be on the defense on MRM. <clears throat> Uh, Apple uh, has not even broken uh, the high of the morning. Uh, Tesla, similar situation. Amazon showing a bit more strength than the two of those. Oops, I meant to go the other way on Amazon's chart here so we could see what we're dealing with. Yeah, <clears throat> forget Amazon. FSR just broke pre-market and yesterday's highs. 
Uh, okay, uh, let's take a look at that. And what was that one that Nikki wanted us to look at? Nikki, are you in here this morning with us? <clears throat> I forget which Nicole. No, it's she's not here, I don't think. We have four Nikki's. Uh, we have so many Nicks and Nikki's, uh, and yet, and one of them is a guy. Two of them are guys, and then we have three girls, and, and we don't have Nikki. <laughs> the one I'm looking for. She said that today uh, something was going to be happening. MRM is now breaking out. Uh, make sure that you uh, take fifty um, five to twenty percent profits uh, underneath every fifty cent level. So that was sixteen dollars, and now sixteen fifty, and now seventeen, and it's about to halt. Get out. Uh, 5% to 20% before it halts. You have about 10 seconds left. We are halting at 1694 on MRM. MRM, definitely the hot stock this morning. You're about to halt. Make sure you get five to, there it is. And we are halted on MRM. Way to go. All right. And we're projected to open at 1705 already. So we'll see where that's going. All right, who's in MRM and how much are you up? What you got? How much you bench? All right, me, David, <laughs> Norm is in, RJ, everybody. You had a MRM pre-market and you were staying in. You had no reason to sell. <clears throat> yeah, you de-risked 25% earlier. Okay, that's fine, Todd. You're still in 75%. See, isn't that awesome? And that's why when you play the stock market, it's stochastic. It's not yes, no decisions necessarily. Most often it's stochastic, meaning it's a variable statistical experience. And uh, so when you need to get out of something, you only need to get a little bit out or a medium bit out or a majority out or all out. I mean, it's, it's a range. So it's a really good example. All right, so we're halted on MRM. I'll let you know when that's coming out of the halt in just a couple minutes here. MRM, definitely hot. What about $4,550? You're talking about uh spy probably maybe mrm just stopped trading that's correct in and out and made four thousand five hundred fifty dollars <laughs> okay very good but you're supposed to still be in so uh, you could have made like twenty thousand maybe by the end of the day today don't chicken out learn how to trade click the link in my bio i'll teach you uh just click the link in my bio and uh, we want to help you make more money by staying in trades until the end of the trade not necessarily until you think you've made enough money because enough money is not enough money the amount of money you made has no idea if that's when you're supposed to get out that's just some kind of vegas parlor trick mrm we're hanging out in mrm neuro in the meantime uh potentially failing uh if neuro breaks 14 um you know give it 20 seconds let it babysit to stop if Nero breaks 14, uh, get out. Joby? No, Joby's not too slow. Joby's grinding. We, we don't mind slow. Uh, time doesn't really matter on the stock market. It's all about price and levels. Well, other than options, obviously, but we don't day trade options. So it's a very bad idea to day trade options. Uh, there are a couple times in which we do, but uh, only on blue chips. Blackberry broke the high. You can get into BlackBerry for 50 cents of risk right now. BlackBerry, BB, 50 cents of risk. It just broke the high. 10.50, stop at 10. BlackBerry, BB. Joby, yep, grinding up. Make sure you take some profits uh, underneath the 50 cent level if we get there. So that's going to be 11. <coughs> you want to uh, make sure that you don't get too greedy and try to get right under 11. You can take profits at 10.87. Even 1083 is not is not bad. Yeah, we do swing trading and uh, and um, day trading in, in my classes. Yes, send me a private message uh, to learn more about that, and uh, click the link in my bio in order to come into the group today. Uh, we have 162 people right now as of the open uh, from TikTok. Uh, all you got to do is click the link in my bio and come on in through into our Zoom and you'll be able to see you at very low lag and for, in 4K uh, every opportunity we're, we're looking at and watching here. And you'll be able to talk with the community of traders. <clears throat> is it too late to get into MRM? 
listen, if you ever ask, is it too late? It's too late. So don't ever ask that again in your life ever. It's too late. Do you ever see the movie Sideways? It's kind of about that. It's kind of about being a dork and a moron and not knowing when to take advantage in life. Anyway, I'm not, I'm just I having fun with you, Josh, this morning. <laughs> but yeah, you do not want to be late to the party. Too late is too late. Just messing around, just slapping a regular member around a little bit this morning. All right, Blackberry uh, is making progress. Uh, it doesn't move a lot. So if it gets underneath a 1075, you might want to take a little profit off. Uh, but certainly under 11, if it gets up there. Blue, you guys over on blue, make sure you're taking off every 25 cent level. You already had one, two profit taking uh, points there on blue. BLU uh, for five to 20% profit targets. And you need to uh, move your stop to break even now. <clears throat> All right, MRM has just resumed trading. And it opened at uh, 17 and is pushing through to 18 right now. Take your profits underneath 18 and 17.5. So that was two profit points. You should be out another 10 to 40% already. It is pulling back. Move your stop to break even. You've taken multiple profits at this point. Move your stop to <laughs> never forget 1929. That was hilarious. That's that's one of the funniest. <laughs> that's one of the funniest things I've ever seen anybody say. I need to get a shirt that says never forget. 1929 it was <laughs> the Dow the biggest crash in history <laughs> that's hilarious um Blackberry moving up blue pulling back MRM starting to push up again 720 725 17 uh I'm sure RJ got his profit targets uh but that they, they did move fast but he already had those puppies typed in while it was halted you know, RJ hustles first, then slacks off later. That's the order of slacking off, okay? You don't slack off first and then hustle. You hustle first, and then however much extra time you've got, now you slack off. All right, RJ's got a be, be like RJ. <laughs> do what RJ does. That's the way to live life. That's the way to do life. And Norm does that too. What would RJ do? Yes. JCS. Yeah, JCS is breaking out and running a little bit. Uh, I don't know that it has the volume and momentum, though. <clears throat> but, yes, very good. Joby, there we go, hitting the profit level. There you go. Take profit level on Joby, 5 to 20% profits on Joby. And it pulled back to uh, 1078. So for a moment there, you already had your profit level taken. And uh, for those of you new uh, to the group or new to trading, uh, like RJ, what he does is he just uh, already has that order sitting there ready to go. He already places the order to sell 5 to 20% of the position he's in at a particular price should it hit it. And it's no sweat. So easy. Be like RJ. <laughs> <coughs> Emma is also a boss? I don't know. She must be a quiet one because I uh, haven't really been necessarily following her trades. But she, yes, definitely... A student. <laughs> uh, maybe she needs to be a little bit more outspoken so I can follow. But yeah, Emma, definitely. Top of the class. Is it later in MRM? Yeah, it is. It's later. <laughs> is it dangerous? Yeah, it's dangerous. <laughs> I, I'm sure there's like three people who know what fucking video I'm talking about. <laughs> Which viral meme video I'm talking about? Is it dangerous? Yeah, it's dangerous. Are you recording? Fuck yeah, I'm recording. <clears throat> Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's the Chinese uh, gas explosion video. Go look it up. It's one of the best. God damn, that was an amazing explosion. What's the stop loss on BlackBerry? The stop loss on BlackBerry is 10. All right, so you have a lot of breathing room. You got in for 50 cents of risk? If so, then the stop loss is 10. <laughs> Thanks, man. Alec. 
All right, MRM is actually making progress, and uh, if it breaks 18 and you wanted to get in, you could get in for $2 of risk. Here we go, breaking 18 in just a moment, but it has to 18.01. There it is, there's the break, uh, but you'd have to get in for $2 of risk if you're a late bloomer here, and uh, very risky uh, to get in as a trade progresses. Much better to get in before. It's much lower risk. Look at that huge, massive pullback after it broke out. What do you call that? That's a fake out. Now you want to be on the defense and be watching for if it breaks 16.25. If it does, cut it because now you're on the defense. MRM put in a defensive pattern there. Yeah, and uh, 16.25, that's where you'd want to get out, all out if it hits it. <clears throat> uh, but... Uh, if not, then you're still in and you're hanging in there. We have a nice wide stop on that. Is it too late to get in MRM? Yes. Uh, I definitely, uh, second time I've said that. Oh, I guess you're new to the, to the TikTok stream. Click like if you're liking the stream. Let's see if we can get a bunch of likes going. See if we can get up to 20,000 likes. Here we go. We're at 15,000 now. Let's see if we can get some all together. I think we can get there almost instantly if we all just work together. Not that it means anything. I don't think it does anything. Uh, we've done that before. I don't think it boosts the stream necessarily any more or less, but let's do it anyway. All right, there we go. 15.3,000, 15 15.4,000. Together we can hit 20,000 really fast. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Arnaz coming up for the breakout. 370 will be the breakout price down RNAS for 50 cents of risk. So you're looking for a dollar a gain if it breaks out. You're hoping it goes to 470. RNAS, if it breaks out, 370, 50 cents of risk. RNAS, R N A Z. <clears throat> All right, we're up to 17.4 uh, thousand likes. Thanks, guys. The apps that I like to trade in, Weeble. Uh, message me for a link so that you can get free stocks uh, using my referral link. We'll both get free stocks. Message me for a link there. Uh, for Weeble. <laughs> and it's not called Weevil. <coughs> I get people going like, hey, yo, uh, got any more of that Weevil link? <laughs> okay, BlackBerry starting to curve up a little bit. We're getting some motion on BlackBerry. Yep, yep, Joseph, that's right. Uh, it's got to get over 10.6. Otherwise, it is failing. Watch yourselves on MRM. Uh, what was I just going to look up? MRM's uh, daily chart. <clears throat> Boy, that's just, that is off the chart. Totally unhinged. Day trade only. Oh, we actually have some good positive energy here on MRM at the 17.3 level. This might be enough to get us to pop 18.45 again. Uh, make sure you take your profits at 18, underneath 18, and underneath 18.5. These are your profit-taking levels, 5 to 20% of your position. <clears throat> Can you day trade with smaller amounts of money, like under 10 or $15,000? Yes. Uh, there are workarounds. Uh, wow, SPY is really rallying right now. The market, Dow, Qs, and SPY really rallying while gold is depleting. Uh, I really hope you guys got a chance to get into the market uh, the other day uh, because it was uh, at an incredible discount. And um, <clears throat> that's probably the lowest we're going to see. And now you could be up a 10% in just a couple weeks here uh, as we uh, start to recover from this Chinese Evergrande fallout. You're in the 440 call. Nice. Uh, what I did is I got into a bunch of dividend paying stocks on that low. And uh, they normally might give you seven, eight, nine percent yield, uh, but because they dropped, uh, I could get them where they're giving thirteen percent yield. So I just put tons of money into a bunch of dividend-paying stocks like that, and um, 
and now as they re recover in price, now I've gotten locked in at a 13% um, <clears throat> dividend rate, which is really good for dividends. dividends stocks. Whew, my internet is being a little bit slow. AEI looks good on the daily. I don't know. Uh, I'll take a look. MRM struggling, struggling to get over that 17.3 level. It really needs to. 17.3. If it can't do it, it is, it is likely to crap out. So be on the defense. Be ready to sell all. Should it break below 16.5? Babysit that stop a little bit. 16.5. 16.25. Give it a little breathing room, but I do believe that if we break that level, it's going to break down. There goes RNAS. Yep. Hopefully, you guys got into your RNAS position for 50 cents of risk. It's already up, uh, what was that, 10 cents, uh, 15 cents, almost 20 cents. Uh, as we get underneath the $4 level, you're going to hit a bunch of resistance, that price level being significant. And uh, you'll need to take a 5 to 20% profit off probably 20%. Uh, be watching MRM. MRM is failing. Failed to re-break to another high. Boom. Uh, I recommend uh, exiting, exiting, exiting. Cutting, cutting, cutting. Get on out. MRM. Um, uh, you can always get back in if it comes back around in an hour. But fuck it for now. Exit. You have quite a few shares of gold. Okay, well, everybody's pulling out of gold and putting it back in the market. That's what happens on dip market dips. <coughs> Everything's up across the board. I couldn't even tell you what's doing the best because they're all doing great. Well, I would say tech is doing probably the best. Yes, tech and uh, consumer discretionary. So like Amazon and um, luxury goods, um, they are doing uh, very well today, probably because they're quite a ways down and uh, they're being bought up today pretty strongly. Consumer discretionary and tech. RNS prediction? No, we have no predictions. We have no predictions. We trade. We trade. We're in it. We're in RNS. We take our profits just underneath $4. 5 to 20% of our position. Uh, and then if it keeps going, we have another point where we'll take profits at, at 4.25 and then 4.50. And that's the way it goes. <clears throat> All right. Did you guys get out of MRM? Hopefully uh, you appreciate me saving you a little bit on that drop. Oh, yeah. Cool, man. Uh huh. I talk stocks on here. Yep. <laughs> and uh, send me a private message, US Shuffle. Uh, I'll get you some links to some more cool information. Hey, thank you, uh, Angel. What's your name again? I saw you you type your name somewhere or one time. Because um, I know it's not Angel. <laughs> <coughs> your your videos are funny. I, I'm hoping your account grows and they, they take off. You're out of MRM. Good. Blue? No, Blue's doing fine. There are nine IPOs today. All right, let's go take a look at these IPOs and let's get some of these shitty stocks off of the screen so we can make room for them. All right, getting ready for Kelly. All right, yeah, Kelly. I'll have to remember that. Kelly, your name is Kelly. Kelly, I knew it started with K. That's the problem. And I didn't want to call you Karen. <laughs> or you might freak out. <laughs> anyway, all right, plug is totally crapping out. Anybody get the plug short? That was a good short right there. What was that other short I was talking about? Would have been a good short. How's that going? <clears throat> RNAS moving up to the $4 level. Now is time to take 5 to 20% out. <laughs> yeah, don't call me Karen. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, I got to clear out some space here, and then we're going to get these IPOs up. Best is actually moving today. I don't know if that's going to be a day trade or a swing trade. There's not a lot of volume on it, but if you're interested in best, uh, it just broke out, and you can get in for about 25 cents of risk. RNAS broke four. It's up to 408. Remember, we're looking for it to hit 474 in order to get our two for one uh, re reward to risk on our 50 cents of risk that we got in at. Uh, and if it, you know when that happens, that's that's how you know you did the, you made the right move. Uh, so now MRM's down to 1570. Everybody freaking out more and more, while you guys were able to get out 
at a higher level. Hey, could we have got out even higher? Well, yeah, but uh, we wouldn't have known. We got out at the 100% confirmed shit hits the fan level. So, uh, you know, that's just the best you, do, you can do. Uh, you need to stay in until the trade is over, and that's when the trade was over. Uh, so, um, <clears throat> and the reason is, the reason why you want to stay in, because you never know. You never know if the thing's going to keep going. Good job. Yeah. Yeah, when it broke 18.5, you know, you could definitely be on the hyper defense. Novavax apparently is up 7%. I got to clear out some more things here. Novavax is on the move. Novavax, I'm going to put that where DBGI is. DBGI totally crapping out. DBGI uh, crapping out. Yeah. Yeah, not a great short. <clears throat> Novavax. Yeah, running like mad. Last breakout was at 250. It's now at 257. First breakout was at 233. Uh, 233. It's at 257. Okay, we're going to start watching Novavax. Okay, got to clear out some more some more here. <clears throat> Aider, Aider, I think, was the one I told you about. Aider, shorting Aider. If anybody was able to short Aider, it's already down $2 uh, from the open. What an easy short that would have been. Did anybody short Ader? <clears throat> All right. I'm getting things freed up here in order to have room for our IPOs today. The IPOs are going to be tasty. Nine IPOs. <clears throat> We're already in iClear, uh, Mauricio. We're actually already in ICLR. We're on a swing trade on that. And we are up more and more every day. Uh, wow, look at that go, guys. ICLR, what a great breakout we got on ICLR. Uh, that was also because volume had dried up, selling volume. So an excellent swing trade. Who's in ICLR swing trade? Uh, probably Emma, maybe, I'm not sure. <clears throat> Mark, excellent. Yeah. How you liking that? And Emma, yeah. How you liking that, guys? Whew, that's looking pretty good, right? I am up $1,200 on that, up 77%. ICLR 250 call swing trade. I'm going to go post that gain. You know it. Post your gains, post your gains. And still running. <clears throat> what's that viacom somebody in making money in viacom today excellent uh fisker yeah it could be a good swing trade on fisker let me take a look oh gosh no no that's not set up well uh <clears throat> nope let me take fisker off the radar Nothing like that moment when you know you're looking at a piece of shit. <laughs> All right, you guys are probably still in Joby. What's going on with Joby? That looks good. Uh, yeah, you just have shares. Good. <clears throat> Um, and best over here. Uh, no, I'm even going to take best off of the radar. Okay. <clears throat> How's everybody doing on uh, TikTok? Yeah, Hell Biz uh, is not doing good today. We, we had it up just in case it could break. Not doing too good. Today's going to be a, a selling day on Hell Biz, it looks like. Nero uh, crapping out, you guys. Nero crapping out. Exit Nero. Yeah, Norm, uh-huh, for sure. You know, $14 was the stop, and it's poked against that a couple of times. Uh, when it does that and you get in defensive mode, uh, and then it goes back up a little bit, like 50% or a 25% retrace or a 50% retrace, then you can get out 
like 50% of your position at a better price. Then it comes back down, breaks down uh, the neckline, and then you're dead and you get all out. <clears throat> so that's a way you can save a little bit, mitigate your losses. Joby, fresh, Blackberry. Blackberry just broke high, nice. Make sure you're taking some profits uh, just underneath $11. That's your next profit point on Blackberry. All right, looks like I have enough spots for <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight IPOs. I doubt they're all really qualifying. Hey, thank you very much. <laughs> Texas Instruments. Uh, it's been pretty rocky for the last like six months on Texas Instruments, hasn't it? Yeah, so tough to get an entrance on there. Let me take a look at the volume signature. Now, a lot of interest in selling still going on. I would uh, not be in Texas Instruments now. So SPY is now above the 50 moving average. Uh, well, just almost above the 50 moving average. <clears throat> like right there on it. And that's a great place for it to be. Okay, let's go take a look at these IPOs. I'm going to pull up the IPOs. All right, the biggest is um, KDC, Nalton Development, KDC. <clears throat> when that starts trading, we'll be ready, KDC. Arnaz still going, guys. Make sure you take profits there at 425. 425. Take profits 5 to 20% of your position at 425. How that works is if the stock has been sketchy and worrisome, then you take out a larger percent, like 20%. If the stock has been so fluid and smooth and it's been just cakewalk, you take out 5%. And then, of course, you have that range in between. So you take 5, 10, 15, 20, 25% of your position out. All right, so you're already taking profits. And when, once you've taken two profits, mandatory at the two profit point, uh, uh, point in the trade, move your stop to break even. And that is a hard stop, hard stop break even, not a mental stop. I don't know. It's not pulling up KDC. And there we go. Yeah. Uh, next, uh, below KDC uh, will be R-E-L-Y. It's not Remitly. 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 R-E-L-Y. <clears throat> why the rocket on no why is novavax going up i don't know we make money on things going up they're different every day today it's novavax you know we do that every day so you can imagine how at this point in my life 25 years of trading how much i just don't give a shit i could care less tomorrow it'll be another stock and i'll be ready for it you can go find out why and if it satisfies your curiosity <clears throat> lucid motors lucid group uh flat and sideways not worth putting your money into emma no i didn't was that the one you wanted me to check out okay so the reason why i'm not excited about that is because the range over the last one, two, three, four, five days has been dismal, like dollar fifty of range. It should, you know, we want something that moved like forty-seven points, it pulled way down, and starts curving way up, so that when it breaks out, it's like an astronomical move it can make. Yeah, I wouldn't be too excited about something that just moved like a buck in five days, and then it's breaking out. 
maybe maybe it works out risk reward wise <laughs> you could give it a try experiment with it use your own money for r d on that one but i'm good i'm good <clears throat> A swing trade for JBI. Oh, oh my God, no! Why would you even think that? That's that's terrible, terrible stock. Are you shilling for them or something? Like, what the fuck are you bringing that piece of shit up for? That is a, st- a real stinker. <laughs> Stay out of JBI, and if you have money in that, get out. Uh, what else we got here? No, Fernando, is that a joke? You're joking, right? I think he's joking. FIXX for a swing trade this morning. Okay. Uh, yeah, not not a super good trade. All right, break uh, BlackBerry breaking up more. Uh, make sure you take that five to twenty percent out, just underneath the eleven dollar level. BlackBerry, our BlackBerry trade is making progress. The current stop on BlackBerry's trade is ten forty. It has moved up to ten forty on that last breakout. So that's good. That's probably really close to where you got in. Uh, <clears throat> but Harry, come underneath eleven dollars, and you'll want to take five to twenty percent profits under there. And then Blue is making progress. Yes, Arnaz uh, kind of didn't follow through very good, and it's already fifty percent retraced. If Arnaz breaks three eighty-five. Uh, you might need to cut the whole thing on RNS, but that'll be out of profit, so that's good. All right, BlackBerry moving up closer and closer to the eleven dollar level. Yeah, you can take profit at ten eighty. Mm-hmm. Justin, like, and everyone, there's really not very much a difference between where you take profit, just so long as it's in the general region of like up and underneath that resistance zone um the whole point though is to just take some chips back now that they're worth more that's that's it that's really what it's about if you don't do that that's a bigger mistake than waiting for 1087 or something you know what i mean so it's more important just to take a little back now that it's gone up that's frankly what it's really all about um well it's really all about making sure you do that also before it hits resistance and those key psychological levels do act as strong resistance. They they trigger stop market orders. And those stock market orders act like bricks falling on you on a roof that just got opened, like with a little button. So it could be very bad. All right. Uh, we have got uh, Rely. And then after that, Sterling Check Corporation. No, let's see. No. Uh, Engage Smart, ESMT. Yes, this is TD Ameritrade. How do I get multiple charts? Uh, You don't use the web version. You download the actual software. Is Palantir a good swing entry? Uh, Yeah, but uh, I'm not alerting it. I said that this morning already. Some of you are late. Uh, It was a good swing entry yesterday. It's already up. Yesterday's entry was at 27.23. It's already at 28.35. And it has been making progress and um, is in a four point uptrend off the bottom. So that's a bottom reversal, fully confirmed. And, uh, but it does have a lot of bag holding to work through over the next few months. So, you know, we'll see if that's a good trade or not. It's up, you know, it's up to you to dedicate money to it. I'm not, I think it's uh, not worth the, the reward. The probability of reward is not worth the risk level. And you put that all together. There goes BB to 10.91. The IPOs will start trading sometime today. We never really know when exactly it will be. Uh, but it's usually like 11, 12, or 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, Spy's doing outstanding. Tarun, 
Yeah. Spy's doing great. Bro's not having a good day today, I think. The market opened. It didn't look like it. Yeah, Bro's, is, bros is, uh, time is over, so we're not in that anymore. Uh, we traded it when it was going up. Arc B, Ar Arb K. Oh, is that going to be trading today as well? Arb K, blockchain, 112 million. All right, we'll keep that up as well. Arb K, we'll be watching it. <clears throat> when you're trading IPOs or really any stock, when you're day trading them, you want to have a nice, fast, real-time system so that you can feel and view and feel the volume flow. You don't want it to be like chick, 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 trade, 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 trade. You want it to be like, like just massive volume flow. That's where you're going to get the momentum breakout trades from. So, you know, to be a pro trader, meaning like that's how you make your money in life. It's your profession. To be a pro trader, uh, you know, you have to have all your ducks in a row and you, you can't be uh, chintzing out or cheaping out on any tool that you need. You need a lot of tools. Fedu is completely crapping out. Let me take a look at that on the daily chart because that could be a short. Eh, no, not a quality short. But Fedu, uh, that trade definitely not happening. We're going to take that off. I'll probably put ARC uh, B in there. ARB K, rather, in there. <clears throat> you guys over on TikTok, if you don't know already, uh, click the link in my bio uh, in order to come uh, learn more about trading. Check out uh, our trading community. Uh, watch this stream in 4K with very little lag. Yeah, just click the link in my bio. You got to uh, click through uh, to my profile. Uh, thank you very much, Bill Floyd. How are you this morning? Arb K. There we go. <clears throat> you would like to enter a new swing today. Okay, well. You know, the market's uh, uh, going up. So if we find something, you know, we'll get into it. Just keep giving me tickers because, I mean, there's usually only like maybe one, two, three, four, or five swing trades out of 500 stocks. So you got to look, look through different stocks. Tilray, piece of shit. Make sure you get out of it. On. Okay. Now we have possibly something here. It's not quite the right type uh, <clears throat> time for on. It's about equal interest in selling as there is in buying. So look at that MRM, huh? Remember we got out at, what was it, 16.25? It's now at 14.5. How much money did I save you? <laughs> like would you have bag held that or would you have maybe not known to get out at 16.25 or 16.5 i'm not necessarily tooting my own horn that's not why i'm saying this what i'm really getting at here is that if you learn these techniques you can save yourself money i want you to do better so hopefully you understand that uh when we got out on mrm uh that was the perfect move and uh, we saved you a lot of money. How much you made us? Well, yes. But I mean, your first year of trading, remember, should be focused on losing the least amount possible. That's, that's your first goal. Losing the least amount possible. Next year uh, of trading, then you focus on maximizing gains. Minimizing losses is the focus of your first year of training. And believe me, it'll take you a year. There's only 253 days of trading per year. And you're probably not going to trade all of them. You might trade 150 or 200. 
And then so, you know, there's only so much training you can get and you're not going to be good in a month. It's going to take months. And that, yeah, in that first year, you will lose real money. And so I recommend you paper trade uh, 99% of the time. Uh, I need to do, oh yeah, okay, good. Uh, any other stocks to look at? Neuro going back, Neuro getting it back on. No, it's not. No, it's not. Jer, let's remember that when something goes up, it doesn't mean it's going up. Look, when something goes up, Jer and everybody, when something's going up, uh, does it only go up when it goes up? Or does it sometimes go down and then continue to go up? It sometimes goes down and then continues to go up, right? Okay. So when Nero is going down and then all of a sudden it starts going up, don't get fucking excited because it's only going back up before it continues to go back down. Okay. All right. Uh, it, 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 there's nothing going on in Nero. Nero crapped out. Uh, no one's interested anymore. Uh, they got burned. So many people lost money. Uh, it's not going to have the momentum. It's done. And MRM is totally done. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you call it a pullback, right? Some of you maybe understand the term pullback. And, uh, but did you know that in a downtrend, let me ask you this, which direction is a pullback in an uptrend? Which direction? So something's going up. Which direction is a pullback in an uptrend? <laughs> no, Jamal. Down. Down. A pullback in an uptrend is down. So which direction is a pullback in a downtrend? Up. You see? So now when you see a stock going up after it's broken down, you'll know that it's not going up. It's just pulling back before it goes down more. Don't waste your time in it, right? All right, Joby, Joby is starting to make some moves here. Uh, if you went on the defensive on Joby, uh, now's your time to de-risk a little bit. If you're on the offense and you're still feeling good about Joby, um, here we go. Let's see if it can break. Uh, actually, you should be on the defense on Joby because it had a failed breakout, a fake out. Uh, it did not break any particular strong necklines, though, so we're still in Joby, but you're on the defense. Therefore, now you should be taking some profits. Uh, you should be de-risking a little bit because you don't know that it's not going to fake out again on Joby. So reduce your position size while you have um, smaller losses or, you know, starting to get maybe a little bit of profit, it's even possible. And uh, if it does break out and run, great, good. So whatever you have left will make money, but you do not want to be uh, uh, overly exposed on Joby. And every stock is different like that. They'll put in something, they'll put in a good pattern or they'll put in a sketchy pattern. And de-risking is important and playing it soft and small is important when they get like that. But then another stock that's gonna be running really well, not only might you get in, but you might be reloading at breakout points uh, and you'll only be taking 5% profits. You'll see every stock is different. Look at what Arnaz just did. Arnaz, get ready to uh, stop out of Arnaz. Arnaz broke out, but it was a total fake out. Um, that is a shitty way to treat uh, shareholders. Uh, you should see that as a bad sign for Arnaz and you should be the, on the defense, de-risking, Babysitting your stop right now. If it falls below 3.08 um, in a sustained manner, then you should get out. Okay, hang on. It's pulling back up above 3.8. It's at 3.82. Okay, good job. RCL, yeah, we could take a look at the travel stocks. Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines having a very good day today. So, but um, cruise lines uh, haven't provided uh, travel, travel stocks, airlines, cruise lines haven't provided 
that much of, of a return in the last year. Yeah, it, it says here 45%, um, but it's probably a, just like lucky, like one year ago, it probably hit some kind of a low. Um, it really has not provided much of a return. For, for an example, the price that it's at now, Royal Caribbean, the price that it's at now is the same price it was at in December. So your money's going nowhere for almost a year now. It's just it's like, do you see how that's a waste of money to pick a stock that's not performing? It's just not performing well. You don't, your money should be put somewhere else. Look, if a stock is the same price it was in December right now, meaning 0% in 10 months, uh, why would you put it there? Why wouldn't you put it in a treasury bond, which is 100% guaranteed to give you, you know, 2.5% return or whatever it is, depending on which bond you buy. See what I mean? So this is why you don't go trading badly performing stocks and risking your money on the stock market when you can get a bond or a CD or invest in real estate or crypto. I mean, the, you have to measure the risks for the reward and make a better decision. If you can get the same reward or more for less risk, you have to choose that product. Don't go chasing waterfalls. <clears throat> uh let's see so uh yeah i've got the uh four i got the four leading ipos up let's see is there anything else that looks uh, good I'll, I'll keep up thorn also thrn what about sundial it's a running joke sundial is such a piece of crap stock that it's a running joke in our group yeah no Forget about Sundial, forget about Tilray. MMAT, yeah, I mean, I like to look at all these stocks. Um, no, it doesn't look good, sideways. Yeah, we're not even gonna look at Clove. THRN, what? How is that already up and trading? Hmm, it's not showing me the right stock there, I don't think. Um, next up is Sovo. CEI. <laughs> PAE. Oh my goodness. Really? You didn't just ask about PAE. PAE is total crap. Did we miss our walk? Uh, why? Did it do good all of a sudden today again? Oh, it's doing good. We we didn't miss it yet. Uh, let me pull it up. Uh, what we want to see is for it to break out of yesterday's high, which is at 225. So if our uh, WLK breaks 225, uh, you'll be able to get in for 25 cents of risk, maybe 30 cents of risk. You got in at the breakout of the pre-market high this morning. Okay, that's good. And have you been taking profits every 10 cents? Because that's where you need to be taking profits. G-Box, let's see. SDC, no, it's terrible. G-Box. Boss. Enable, boss enable, you need uh, to just send me a private message and ask me that. We'll figure out something. Uh, G box, no, very bad. Sideways, not very bad, but sideways. So, waste of time and money. NVIDIA, uh, boy, it sure has done uh, well since breaking out yesterday above uh, previous red candles high. Went from 214 now to 223. NVIDIA, one of the maybe better bets with relative strength uh, as we recover from this uh, Chinese Evergrande uh, situation. NVIDIA, NVDA. Yeah, Rocket's terrible. Don't even get in that. Asana, yeah, we were in Asana um, swing trade uh, for that whole run there. Brrrr. Oh, we did so good. 
found, made thousands per contract. Uh, but right now, Asana is not really uh, showing signs of continuation. It's showing signs of topping. So we're over. We're we're out of that swing trade on Asana right now. We'll see what it will do for us more later. Boy, was that an outstanding swing trade. Uh, Sovo is up. Okay. RK, KDC Relay, and ESMT. I don't need RK over there, so I'll put something else. Uh, Live Oak Acquisition, Knowlton Development, Engage Smart. I already have that up. Brilliant Earth, BRLT. That sounds interesting. And then Argo Blockchain, Sterling Check, Thorn Health. Okay. We've got the ones that we want up. Are we still in DH? I don't think so. Uh, I don't know. I'm not in, in next to anything because of the market pullback. Uh, I sent an alert saying to get out of everything. Uh, are we still in DH? Uh, when did we get in and why? Was it the second day follow through? Okay. Um, well, technically we're still in DH. Yeah. Technically, you should still be in DH using the dream stop. No, I think Mike, you know, it's just maybe it's hopefully going to start to turn around and continue to go up in a couple of days. Fingers crossed. We just looked at MMAT. Fubo. Wasn't that like... Uh, Yeah, sideways. That was hot like last year. Like at some point, you know, you got to wake up, right? Holy shit. <laughs> Fubo is not doing anything anymore. Do you look at the large companies like Budweiser, Disney, or Boeing? Yes, I do. For swing trades, typically. Boeing is in a downtrend. And uh, also not returning very much money year over year. Uh-oh. We've lost picture. What happened? Did it overheat? No, not particularly. Oh, there we go. I'm back. Weird. <clears throat> Got a couple of private messages here to take a look at. Real quick. All right. People call me. Like they fucking call me on Discord. Like I'm live. A and they call me on the Discord, you know, to ask me a stupid ass question like, what do I click on? Oh, this is weird. Like I'm, f I'm fucking live. <laughs> <laughs> figure it out jesus christ i swear to god if you ask me a dumb question i'm probably gonna have to block you all right joby uh is hitting about 11 uh because this is a merit based <laughs> this is a meritocracy if you think the stock market gives a shit about your feelings <laughs> forget it this is a meritocracy if you suck you're out <laughs> just by the nature of it but I want to help you become a winner. But you, if you're starting out by just give by calling me while I'm fucking live, like what the f like what the fuck? <laughs> Monica's like I did that by accident once. Yeah, everybody does it by accident once. Yeah, sure, <laughs> sure, Monica. <laughs> exactly uh so uh you know finally looking at rwlk again and it's really running oh here we go if it does break 225 that's like right where it's at rwlk you could get in for 50, uh, 25 cents of risk actually it's 30 cents of risk to be precise dollar 95 stop ruben i often do yes often wait for it to beat pre-market high but there's there's a lot of logic and reasoning in what we do, what we do. 
And sometimes there's in certain setups, there's reasons why we get in earlier. And even sometimes where we get in later. So there, it's not a hard and fast rule. Uh, but it's all fully explained in my classes. If you ever want that, uh, somebody can paste you the link right now. Who asked for that? Ruben. Yeah, somebody can paste the link. And um, Ruben, take a look at uh, the, the, the link when they somebody posts it. I guess RJ is sleeping at the wheel. It's going to be Sergio. I think Sergio's going to get it. Who's going to there? Ah, RJ got it. All right. Sometimes Young Hui comes in with the real safe at the end there, but he's not with us today. I don't think we do have a. Uh, looks like Chinese. Yeah, we have a Chinese uh, person with us. Welcome. Uh, I don't read Chinese. <laughs> Unfortunately, a little bit. I mean, a very tiny bit, like a couple symbols. But and I, and I know it's Chinese. Quantumscape, yeah. Let's take it. But hello, we say hello to you. Uh, Quantumscape, really uh, popping off right now. Heck of a move. <clears throat> 24 to 20, almost 7. And uh, it's been all morning. So thank you very much for telling me about that now after it broke pre-market high yesterday's high and today's high several times i really like it when people give me stocks late that's really anyway uh so quantum scape yeah we missed pretty much all the whole move there and uh this is about the maximum that quantum scape moves in one day except for one day back in december you're welcome <laughs> Yeah, next time give it to me earlier if we can roku but that is good for for quantum scape you should watch it tomorrow for follow through for pet for a potential swing trade why did you ask me to look up roku tony that uh, is red all morning oh, i see it's just up a little bit today gapped open yeah but it's been in a downtrend so, you know, I don't get excited about things that go up in a downtrend. That's just a pullback in a downtrend. Yeah. Oh, maybe you heard me say that earlier. But, uh, yeah, when things go up in a downtrend, that's just, that's a uh, a bull trap. A bull schwat? <laughs> Having your coffee? Oh, man. I dream about a good coffee right now. All right, so you guys are in RWLK. It broke the uh, 225 level. You can get in for 30 cents of risk. And uh, please keep your chairs and seats in an upright position. And the stop is at 195. All right. <laughs> All right, you guys are uh, out of RNAS, correct? Did everybody get out of RNAS? Uh, whoever was in RNAS, you're managing your position. RNAS. I don't know if I called the exit, but it, it happened way back there. And you can get out now, and you should get out now if you didn't get out. Nero starting to put in a four point uh, uptrend off of the bottom. So now that's a little bit more than a pullback. That's a potentially worthwhile bottom reversal, possibly on Neuro uh, that you could get in now for. Uh, with a stop at 14, looks like about a dollar of risk, 75 cents of risk, Nero, possibly, possibly is a lower risk trade, lower probability, higher risk trade, lower probability, uh, but possibly Nero maybe will break and run uh, as of yet. Why the jump on Novavax? I don't know. That stock's spiked many times throughout the year. All right, SPY is, the market is topping, especially in the industrials. The industrials have uh, failed to retest twice and have broken one minor, minor inner trend, uh, neckline and is about to break uh, the other uh, minor inner neckline. And that will be a breakdown on the industrials, which it looks like the um, tech and SPY are mimicking 
but in a lagging fashion. So be watching the Dow for a neckline break there on the minor inner trend. So the play on Nero is stop at 14, uh, enter about 70 cents of risk right now. And we'll see if it keep continues to march its way uh, back into the green for the day and then up and over the high of the day. Apps, yeah, you know. Yeah, not the best quality trade. Emma posting a 98% gain on Macy's. I bet you wish you uh, got more calls on that. For instance, Dillard's and uh, Kohl's and Foot Locker, which were some things I got in at the bottom of the pandemic low on March 24th last year, are up, um, what was it, 400%, no, 1,000% on the stock shares. Imagine if that was a leap, you'd be up 5,000%. When you get uh, retail, and you're going to play a retail swing, you want to get that for a long time because that sucker could just keep going. Oh, that is sharper, yeah. I think we just went over Roku. Uh, somebody asked, how's Roku for a swing? Uh, no, not good. You know what? Let me go back to the apps. I'm seeing something interesting. No. Okay. No, apps is not good. Not a good swing. So hard to find those, those perfect swings, you know? Out of 500, I'll typically find one, two, three, four, five. You know, out of 1,000. Yeah, I'll find no more than eight, maybe five. Yeah, we already looked at Fubo, F cell. It's going to be the same as plug, probably. Yeah, total crap. Arnaz, will it go down? Oh, I don't know, but you should be out of that now. Some some things uh, are easier to, to tell you yes or no on. That's not one. When is ARBK going public? Today. At some point between 11 and 1. Blackberry grinding up blue, by the way, crapped out. Mm. Broke a uh, pivot at 660. So you had to be exit at 660. If you did not, exit now. Blackberry grinding up. Yep. Continues to make progress. Current stop is 1070. Uh, can you even make it 1075? Current stop 1075 on Blackberry. And what was I going to say? Let me get rid of blue now. That's crapped out. Um, S. Somebody wanted me to take a look at S. So we have a, a lower failed retest, and we're at the neckline of a breakdown right now. So Sentinel-1 is uh, uh, showing so massive signs of failing the trade. You meant to tough off and sold by accident on BlackBerry. Is there a chance for reentry or leave it alone? Leave it alone. Is it is it incredible, Mike? Is BlackBerry incredible today? No. Is this a phenomenal move that it's making? No. Well, you know, yeah, yeah. Don't be so. Uh, what is the word? Horny to get back into fucking BlackBerry right now. It's not really doing much. <laughs> You're, uh, you know, lucky you got some grinded gains. Lucky, right? But I wouldn't be jumping into it 
thinking, my God, what an opportunity. Because that's those that's what we want to get into. We want to get into my God, what an opportunities. Me so horny. <laughs> Yeah, Jamal is kind of right about that. If you respect the stop, you can get in for 1% of risk. And you don't have to think about it. But, you know, I don't think it's it's not showing the momentum today. We hoped it would, but it's not. So. Yep. Yeah, there might be a swing trade entrance there uh, on Moderna, strange enough as it is, calls. Uh, I'm not going to alert it, uh, but if, like, for example, tomorrow Moderna were to have a very good day, it would pop this pivot here, which would send up towards 500, at which point it could break 500. So, like, the next couple of days on Moderna could be very good, could be a good swing. I'm not going to call. I'm not going to alert it though. And the risk is, the risk is really high. It's uh, 45 points. So you need 90 points of gain. So you need this thing to go to 540 in order for it to be a two for one profitable trade. The setup is just not good on Moderna. Jamal on which one? 2.30. What are you talking about? Which one? W R W walk probably you're talking about. Hey, everybody over on TikTok. How's it going? Uh, click like if you like, enjoy these streams. Uh, gamer style, brrr, a whole bunch of them. Uh, click the link in my bio. Click through out of the live and into my profile. And the link in my bio uh, will take you to learning more about trading, uh, our trading community, uh, and just uh, much more about trading. All right. Thank you very much. Somebody gave me one like. They're like, click. <laughs> I sent a coffee. Oh, thanks. Oh, there we go. I got like four. Two lights. <laughs> All right. Uh, R W R R W L K. So uh, 225 breakout on RWLK, it followed through for five cents, you know. Uh, this is why you take profits, I believe, every 10 cents. No, it might be every five cents on these stocks. Uh, can somebody share the tiering, T-I-E-R, the different tiers of profit taking? Uh, maybe it's underneath $3. We take profits every five cents. So therefore, you should have taken profits at 2 Right underneath 230 there. You bought into FAMI. Yeah, it's definitely not the best. Good morning. Do I watch order flow when trading? Yes. Uh, well, it depends. Uh, but mostly, mostly uh, when I'm uh, high speed trading, yes. Pfizer, two to three every point. No. Usually one to three cents for under three dollars. Yeah, well, no, I don't think so. I think it might be five cents. 
Uh, anyway, Pfizer. No. no, no good on Pfizer yet. That sucker needs to bottom out. Uh, what was the other one? W key. About to break yesterday's high, yeah, but there's really nothing. But thank you for bringing it to me. What you think is early, but the, uh, that's uh, not a good stock. It's dead cat bouncing, and the fun is over. On it, it's it's day, it's good days over. I think I'm out of focus. Let me get, there. We go. It might be a little bit better focus. There we go. Every there we go. Daniel put it every five cents two to three dollars there goes our wlk so now it's another five cent profit target take out five to twenty percent on our wlk i think the problem is we got in for a large amount of risk yeah 25 cents of risk so hmm. all right we'll keep taking profits Is volume the indicator you use to determine whether a stock is going to be a swing trade? Yes, it is. It is a very important factor. Yes. APRE. So uh, BlackBerry, the current stop on BlackBerry should be 1085. Novavax has failed uh, to retest highs three times in a row, and it is pretty much breaking the neckline at 253. I don't know if you're still in Novavax, but if you are, uh, you should be on the defense because it's not following through, and you should de-risk some between 25-50% of your position uh, if it breaks the neckline of 253. Uh, I do these streams for usually the morning session, a couple hours. we got a couple of IPOs today we're watching, so we'll see how that goes uh, coming up later in the day. Uh, you can come click the link in my bio to come check out our trading group. How about Shopify? Let's take a look. And Agilent says it's crossing up on one of my alerts. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not super keen on that right now. Let's see. Yeah, it could be a good trade. Let's see what's the risk here. Let's see, one, 124, three dollars a risk. All right, I'll alert that one. Agilent. Three dollars a risk entry on Agilent.
All right, sending out a trade alert now. Swing entry, Agilent, risk, $3, stop, 171 <clears throat> everyone. <coughs> iron butterflies, no, I'm not an expert at iron butterflies, definitely not. I would love to be, but I'm not. Um, I just... Continue to rinse and repeat what works for me, which has been pretty vanilla, you know, plus the day trading. Pretty vanilla swing trades um, with, uh, you know, vanilla options. Um, and then uh, day trading momentum breakouts. Uh, Jermaine says, hey, just got in here, was looking at SPY. It looks like it's topping and just over the 50 day moving average. Would say this is a pullback from a downtrend or we'll wait to the end of the week to confirm uh, i'll check that out in a second but by the way the industrials just broke out to a new high so i believe that's going to lead spy and tech up now the dow just broke out pretty strongly that's nice nice little move there i do believe that's going to send uh tech and spy up You know, I think it's uh, worth the risk, you know, to have gotten in yesterday or today on this strength in SPY. Uh, but it's not for certain that we're not in a downtrend from here on out. It's just it's just not for certain. So there's some risk to getting in now. Um, it's probably going to work out, though. It's, the reward is probably going to be there. Uh, the market continues to go up and the economy continues to improve. Striker, striker. No, there's not a re-entry on MRM. Somebody says why, but they're asking somebody else something, but that would be funny. Do I think Zayla will short squeeze? It may, it may. I'll be right back. Quick break for some water.
I don't know if you're seeing this, but the market is green across the board. It's a totally green market day. Everything's up except gold. Everybody's pulling their money out of gold and putting it into the market. That's the move. While I was gone, BlackBerry uh, trade is over. Remember I said 1085 is your stop on BlackBerry? Gonna do without headphones for a few minutes here. <clears throat> so hopefully you got out of BlackBerry. Jamal says, this is by far the best group I've been in and only group I'm in now. You'll learn something there. The 150 can be made easily from the morning sessions. Oh, yeah, that's what we all tell everybody, but, you know, they don't believe it until, uh, you know, of course I get it. But, yeah, I think uh, most people make the 150 during their free trial, which is just ridiculous when you think about it. So it means this is basically a free service. Joseph says he's up a thousand this morning. So it definitely sounds worth it, <laughs> dude. Yeah, absolutely, man. And uh, uh, if you wanna learn more about trading, which you ought to, uh, you should uh, take the following uh, link and someone's going to give you to my video lessons. There you go. RG just gave it to you. I forget, who are we talking to there? Joseph, Joseph Priest. Yeah. And anybody else, if you want, click through there to that market mastery link and uh, seven bucks and you can have access to all hundred plus training videos. Best deal in town. Everybody tells me. <laughs> uh yeah all right so you guys are out of blackberry you're out of arnaz arnaz went back up and did another fake out bullshit run there uh you're out of arnaz um rwlk is actually making more and more progress it's up to 242 now oh the link tree yeah paste you can paste there it is there's the link tree yeah there's a link tree that RJ posted about 10 comments back uh, with my um, most recommended, my my best recommended books on trading, uh, which there are very few. It's only like seven on that list. That's out of hundreds of books I've gone through over the last 25 years, more than 25 years. RWLK, breaking out some more now. Yep, RWLK is making some moves. Joseph, that's outstanding. Fantastic. Make sure you're taking partial profits of 5 to 20% of your position every five cents that it progresses. Yeah, that's a great point, Chowder, and it's, you know, and it, it's sad that people just don't, you know, they're like, eh, and they won't spend the seven bucks, you know, <laughs> crazy. But, you know, that's like they say, you can lead a horse to water. Well, that's good, James. I applaud you, uh, and um, if you have any questions, you know, uh, just uh, send me a private message in uh, the Discord or in the TikTok or wherever you can find me. Ah. 
we're doing good today at this point um i don't know what i i feel like we're doing we're on the good side of things we're probably up is, is anybody uh up one r or more today overall and has been in a bunch of trades like basically traded the full palette and uh is up i think we're probably up today and uh, we still have these ipos coming Chowder says he's up 2.2 r todd jackson's up 1.5 r excellent eric's up 2 r mark is up 2 r so look at that you know you're all up just about the same amount and that's excellent by the way and remember that when you get up above your goal of 1 r that should be your goal uh if you're on the one percent compounding plan uh that's it like you know you can hang loose for the rest of the day and <clears throat> make better use of your time you should not trade it back at that point if you made your goal you are compounding your gains you know warren buffett started uh when he was six you know compounding his gains literally like you know he I was um amazed by the power of compounding gains and i think he sold lemonade or something when he was six and he just kept making that grow and he had a couple thousand at one point when he was i think 12 by the time he was 11 or 12 invested that that tripled or quadrupled uh, or somehow it got turned into twenty thousand by the time he was 14 something like that um and then you know by the time he was i think 2021 he turned 1 million into uh i think it was 3 million and uh, and that's it it's just it just takes time it's he started when he was six from six to 21, one million dollars, six to 21, okay, of compounding your gains. That's 14 years, okay? So anybody can do it. It just takes time and discipline, not falling off of the bandwagon, you know, start gambling your money away. Just compound 1% per day, and that works out to 1,200% per year. $10,000 at 1% per day for 253 trading days per year is $120,000 by the end of one year. So all you got to do is just consistently make a small 1% on your portfolio per day. Stop going after these get rich quick schemes because they're going to actually bankrupt you. Like literally, like you're going to file for bankruptcy or be living under a bridge. Like, no joke, you will lose all your money on high risk moonshots. <clears throat> so, yeah, way to go. Joseph's up 5% in this portfolio, but Joseph, you haven't learned the 1% rule, so you're probably over risking. Um, I recommend you take those classes. You learn the 1% rule. And uh, hey, how you doing, Ryan? 1.5R on R walk alone. Way to go, Jess. Norm had two losses, but where are you now? Uh, I don't see what you said, but yeah, Todd, Mark 2R, Eric 2R. Eric 2R, way to go, Eric. I'm really proud of you. ZI for a swing. Let me take a look. <laughs> I'm laughing at inside joke over here. Two losses and one win, but not up today. Okay. Well, uh, you also uh, maybe didn't get that uh, BB. Did you get BB? No. How about uh, our walk? Yeah. R and S. Yeah. So you missed the you missed the winners. Yeah. Um, all right, but you usually don't, Norm. So uh, I know you're doing good. This is not a big deal. This is that's unusual. So ZI for a swing. Let's see. Uh, <coughs> it looks pretty shitty as a chart. Okay, only recently has it started to uptrend and then break all time highs, which makes it a little bit better. But it, it's not like it's been a consistently well run company. And then uh, lately, uh, it has had bit of a run that it went on but it's had 
almost as much selling interest as buying interest, if not more. So I think it will struggle. So no. You you know, if I if I'm choosing one stock out of 500 for swing trades, then you have a <laughs> what is that? 0.2% chance that any stock you ask me if it's good to get in for a swing of me saying yes. <clears throat> Did any of you get the Agilent trade? A. Eh? I'm fully allocated, so I'm not getting into any trades. I'm fully allocated right now. Yeah, Johnny, um, long term uh, swing trades, medium term economic portfolios and day trading options and stocks. Okay, cool, cool. <clears throat> Nicole, nice. <coughs> Nokia swing, doubtful. Uh, let's see. Nokia right now is at the same price it was in June. So that's a massive waste of time and money and the ability to compound your gains. You want stocks that are going up, not sideways. And going up well. <clears throat> if Facebook can get up and over, a red candle high on the daily chart. We could give a try on uh, scooping up Facebook for a swing, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen today, even with as, as strong as the market is. <clears throat> the industrials are holding up pretty well, but tech is kind of breaking down now. It's breaking pivot. Spy is also holding up good, but tech, tech is a bit breaking down. <clears throat> <clears throat> that RWLK, excuse me, <clears throat> that RWLK, that's just a smooth grind all the way up. When you see that RJ and everybody else who, you know, will understand this, when you see that, like just nice smooth grinding up action like that, that those are the ones that you want to be taking only 5% out at your profit points. When you know it's just going to, be so smooth like that you can take the risk of taking a smaller profits out that's a really good example today rwlk is just smoothly going all the way up oh i have a little snack oh mcdonald's yes <laughs> i was going to tell you uh to take uh, ella to mcdonald's yeah and she wanted to use the discover card for our four percent cash back <laughs> okay good all right all right, take the doggy out of here. The doggy just snuck in. Hey. Hey. You get, yeah, you walk away and then he'll follow you. He, he loves you. All right now, close my door. <laughs> she hates me. <laughs> the dog. <clears throat> so, yeah, I got myself a McDonald's sausage McMuffin. You got to get you got to get a wife. The, the coolest things ever. <laughs> Like they come out of a vending machine. No good wife would ever marry a misogynist, so that's why I can make these jokes. Because I'm not a misogynist, yeah. I didn't get her out of a vending machine. <laughs> She's awesome. And you can find her online, by the way. That's my wife, Kathy. Kathy from Honduras. She's all over social media. Especially if you're Latino, uh, you'll dig her channel. <clears throat> Thoughts on BX swing? Yeah, let's see. Uh, no, uh, from Honduras. Uh, they were fucking, I just told you, Kathy from Honduras is the name of, oh, you're joking with me for us. Okay, very funny. <laughs> Boy, you really got me there. I think those mushrooms are finally catching up with you. <laughs> those mushrooms are connecting synapses never connected before that was a good one i had a friend who used to do that too 
there was a place we, we drove by called Just Tires. He looks at me, he says, says, you think they sell, you know, motors? Oh, oh shit, they just got disconnected again. I guess they get overheated. <laughs> Nero went sideways, it sure did, yes. <coughs> Crapped out, you should probably not be in Nero. <laughs> Where is she from? Peru? That's hilarious. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Uh, for us, you need this to be a stand-up comedian now. I think these mushrooms are turning you into a stand-up comedian. Oh, God, that's hilarious. Kathy from Honduras. Go follow her everywhere. Oh, wow, where's she from? Peru? <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> oh, my God. So I'm going to give my webcam a chance to cool down here. I think it's, I don't know, it's failing on us. Yeah, I was surprised at how I've seen Joe Rogan's like comedy bits now. I was surprised how he's kind of not that funny. He's kind of like level one, you know what I mean? <laughs> He'd be like, flowers how about flowers what's with them they got pollen they have this stem flowers ridiculous i don't know you know what I mean? it's like and it's just very basic <laughs> yeah i expected him to be like i don't know meteoric like incredible i don't know why i just i didn't expect him to be so what's the word Uh, God, I can't think of the word. Bland is a good word for it. It's very close to what I'm thinking, yeah. Uh, oh, what the fuck? Mediocre. Thank you. That's the word. Thank you, Super Big Daddy. Have you joined the group yet? Did you uh, pick up a uh, full trial? I know you've been here for a little while. Oh, awesome. Okay, cool. <laughs> Basic. No, uh, mediocre. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess, you know, I mean, he has a great show, the Joe Rogan experience or whatever. That podcast, it is great. But how the hell did he make that? How the hell did he swing that? That's basically, that's what he's good at. Like, I hope he realizes that, like, that he's not the shit at comedy and that he's not the shit at sports announcing and everything, that the podcast is his greatest achievement and to go all in on that he admits it okay that's good it's good to be humble good to be uh good to be able to see yourself all right we still have no uh ipos trading yet arb k uh katie say c rely brlt esmt sovo Uh, Joby uh, is we're still in Joby grinding up very slowly who's still in Joby and Joby is at uh all into the 10 to 11 dollar range so you're taking profits uh just underneath every 50 cent level a <laughs> defense mechanism that dude for us you're acting really fucking extra smart lately. That's really, really philosophically insightful. <clears throat> Those mushrooms finally connected particular neurons. <laughs> That's really insightful. That's crazy, man. Yeah, you, you made me think about it. I, I Somebody must have gave me mushrooms when I was a baby because <laughs> that's the way my brain works already. If I took mushrooms, it probably would dismantle me. <laughs> mm. Ryan, that's outstanding. I thought you were going to say your mom and dad are up over 180% on shrooms. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, microdose, yeah. Like, what's the size of a microdose of of mushrooms? Is it like this, like a pepper, like a speck of pepper? <clears throat> totally. Oh, wow, it's crazy. <laughs> Ryan's like 0.5 grams usually on on my machine. Point point five grams. <laughs> I got 0 0.05 and still fill it. That's cool. Yeah, it's cool. I guess. Any thoughts on CMCT? Can't figure out this one. Uh, let me see. Let me see MCT. <clears throat> I mean, it's just been on a, on a god awful downtrend for the longest time, and only the last couple of days showed any promise. That doesn't convince me. I could find much better picks on the market. I think, you know, why put your money on that? Maybe that's wisdom talking. I don't know. TCRX, okay, I'll take a look at it. <clears throat> so the tech is broken down, but industrials are making uh, continued progress and SPY is um, holding. All right, TCRX, let's take a look at that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Logan, TCRX may be doing good things, but uh, not to its shareholders. That chart's terrible. Look at the chart on Agilent. Logan, see the chart on the upper right of my screen on Agilent, Agilent A. I don't care if Agilent's doing bad things for people. That's what you want to invest in. <laughs> Short good things, yeah, for one day. <clears throat> TCRX, yeah, that chart's terrible. Video just won't come back up again. Oh, let's see, Eric. It might be good, Eric. It might be. Can't give much more of a a recommendation than that. You know, maybe you can give it a try. You know, if you get in for one percent risk and you figure out where your stop's going to be, probably around fifty nine, and you figure your one percent risk, and you can figure out how many shares that is to get in, and you can get in with only one percent risk, then you can give it a try. Yeah, I mean, it has recovered really well, right? So that's a good sign of relative strength. All right, let's see if I can fix my camera. Switch it over to this one. Switch it over to this one. <clears throat> Click it again and nothing. Uh, 
$160 a share on Clorox. Let me take a look. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Jesus. It's been falling since, uh, uh, for, for over a year, it's been falling since 240. Somebody says, I can't believe Clorox is at 162. Um, have you ever heard of a Pinto? It's a kind of car. You can probably get them for about five bucks now. Can you believe that? <laughs> Look, just because something's down doesn't mean it's great. Nah. <clears throat> Clorox has been going down since July of last year from 240. Don't make that make you think that it's cheap just because it's lower. It's obviously overvalued. <clears throat> Efficient market theorem. Yeah, I did look up CMCT. And, oh, it's, it's just terrible. You know, terrible. She's been in a downtrend for like half a year. And it's only had like three good days. So there's really nothing you can do with that. Nothing you can, I, why would you invest in that? If that's what you're talking about, an investment. <clears throat> A Pinto might be worth money now. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I could probably get shares of K Kmart for pennies. Does that make it worth it? God, people, this is ridiculous, right? Come on. Just because something's down doesn't mean it's good. In fact, if it's down, it's bad. You want to buy things when they're going up. <clears throat> Classic cars. 1974 Ford Pinto three-door Worrying about is junkyard treasure. <laughs> <coughs> Actually, yeah, Toys R Us uh, still has that website now, I guess, huh? Joby, you're in Joby? Okay. <clears throat> I just had that pop to 11.11. Turned out to be a bit of a fake out. <clears throat> Surf, no, it's uh, down in a downtrend and only had a couple of days, a couple of good days. It's just meaningless. Got to figure out how to get my uh, face back on here. All right, I'm going to go uh, re hook up the camera. Wait, let me see if this works. This should bring up a. <clears throat> Rainbow screen, yep. This is a test. Should this have been a real test, I would have fucked your mother. <laughs> All right, stop. Let me go start plugging my webcam. <laughs> God, my computer's overheating. That's the problem. Wow, is that hot. Burning to the touch. I think that's where we're really getting the main problem. Try to figure out a better airflow here. Fuck, that's hot. Ah, probably going to have to clean it out later today. Uh, dust. <laughs> Alex is like later. All right, that, you talk about a path of victory. <laughs> oh God, it's not weird. 
Yeah, you like that? The path of victory there, Jamal. Yep, you can see it, right? And on my screen, uh, I have software which uh, actually attempts to compute it, you know? So there you can see, you can actually see it kind of highlighted. All right, let's see if I can get video back up here. Oh, all right, there I am. Uh, we'll see how long that works for. I need to put like a cup of ice next to the computer. In fact, I'm going to go do that. Ah, fuck. Ah, almost got water poisoning there. You know what that is? That's when you drink too much water. Whew, okay. All right. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, God. This is my pug. Oh, geez, you're big. <laughs> this is Luna. Oh God, and here comes the cats. Oh my God, all the animals are here. <laughs> you see the dog, the pug's eyes? He's like, oh God, is the cat gonna sniff me? <laughs> oh jeez, get out of here, you guys. Oh my God, these pets piss me off. Come on, get out of here. Oh Jesus, they're ruining my desk, I tell you. Out, too many damn pets. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, that was supposed to be a laugh. It was like a cough laugh. <laughs> I gotta take a cough drop. There's just no way out of it. Oh, we got uh, Reli started trading just now. R E L Y. It opened at fifty three. The volume is, I put it in the spectrum of medium. There it goes, it's starting to pick up now. If it breaks 53.7, you can get in for a dollar of risk. 53.7, R-E-L-Y. They know where they're not supposed to be. Yep. Hello, Caleb. <laughs> 53.7. You can get in for a dollar of risk. Yeah, I went to the store and I looked for those fishermen's cough drops. Couldn't find them. But thank you. I did try to look for that. That's expensive. What is Emma? <clears throat> a pug? Oh, having the cats press my all in button? Yeah, that would be expensive. 
can you guys stop sniffing around here and just leave? Damn. Walgreens. Ah, okay. All right, Relay is not triggering. And it has put in a lower low. <clears throat> Look at the break on at 53.7, basically. And it's hit 51.8. So that differential is almost two dollars well now it's even more 51 51 it's it's dropping we are gonna now switch over to waiting for a five minute candle entry on relay that's how we play these ones that crap out at the open no nah, i mean a 200 strike price 2024 baba call not if it's out of the money yeah, no, that's a bad idea. And by the way, Baba's downtrending. Get in stocks that are going up. That's going to be the difference between you making money in life and struggling with making money in life. Stop picking stocks that are going down. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're trying to find an entrance on Relay as it goes down. But I'm an expert, though. <laughs> anyway, we hope that uh, Relay went up. Now we're just going for plan B. <clears throat> Relay, you just got killed on Relay. We haven't even entered Relay yet. There's been no entrance on Relay yet. Oh man, yeah, that sucks. Joseph, you definitely gotta follow that link and, and start studying up tonight. Sergio, drop the link. Yeah. No, we, you have to wait. You have to wait for signals for strategical leveraged entry points yeah that's right norm knows it norm did you lose any money on relay anybody else get into relay did did anybody else get into relay um who's a member of this group no sir right no 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 you see that we're all clean so I just want you to realize, Joseph, that, you know, one of the things you're going to get out of this is you're going to stop getting into the things that would lose you money. Uh, well, number one, I mean, that's amazing. Like it's a whole nother, it's an alternate universe. Like there's this one universe where you get into these things and then you lose money. And there's this alternate universe where you don't get into those things. <laughs> it's as simple as that and so you don't lose that money i always think of it like that i think it's crazy i think you know it's amazing i'm now not necessarily talking to you joseph but everybody but it's amazing what we don't lose money on because you normally would i mean using a signal system we don't get into so many trades that would have really uh hurt us it sounds weird it's like you know it's meaningless because it doesn't matter because we didn't get in but you don't realize how much money you saved by learning that how not to get in <laughs> you save a lot of money by learning how not to get into stuff you say like man in an alternate universe like norm <laughs> you lost all your money if you didn't know that you know Got to wait for those triggers. And it's not a distant alternate universe. <laughs> it was just the difference between waiting for the signal and not. Arnaz breaking out again right now. I don't really like that stock. Yeah. 
I don't like how it behaved. I don't know, but if you guys did, there it goes. You know, they're up to get in. I don't particularly, particularly like it. Neuro breaking down a little bit more right now. From 13.5 neckline breakdown, pivot point, 13.7 rather, to 13.2. A little bit of a short there. Monica says, it does take a while to learn. Have patience and listen and learn. Yes. Am I still holding my VIX? Absolutely. I would, it's, I got them below fifth at or below 15. You know, so long as I'm above 15, it's a really good um, protection to have stuffed into your portfolio. Don't do weird shit. Yes. I like this shirt that somebody said. I mean, I'm going to try and get a shirt ordered or something. Uh, what did it say? Uh, never forget 1929. <laughs> put the Dow and put like a, a, the symbol of the market. <laughs> Why not ARM today? Uh, let's see. I don't know. We just didn't check out. This is the first time I'm looking at it. So AFRM is just dead cat bouncing. Had a great day. Um, like two weeks ago, fell, bounced, failed retest, came back down, didn't break neckline yet, but is likely to fail retest. If it breaks out, I'll be interested again. I'm not interested right now. <clears throat> yep, we're just going to let Rely fall. We're looking at five-minute candles for an entry. So we're nowhere near it. Norm's like, glad I never got into Rely. Yeah, man. Evan of Texas, 500 BC. <laughs> That's funny. I can do gear for you guys. Own a print shop. I'll send you that one. Oh, dude, <laughs> Daniel, uh, send me a private message on Discord later today about that. Yeah, let's do some of those. That's that's hilarious. We'll get your uh, logo on it too. You know. <clears throat> Will R W L K go to three today? Uh, is not likely. Okay, let's see what the eight ball says. Come on, it's sort of stuck. No. It flipped over to a different answer. That was not the answer it was giving. This was the answer it was giving. Now, stay there and tell me what that says. Come on. There it is. Answer. Ah, what does that say? Unclear. Ask later. Hmm. All right, Magic 8-Ball. <laughs> and sure enough, here goes RWLK. Moving back up. What did Jamal say? Yep. Magic 8-Ball will make you a better trader. <laughs> Can you imagine if... I mean, first of all, I believe you can only use the magic eight ball once per day because it has only one day of magic per day. OK, so but could you believe if uh, like, yeah, all the trading secrets were based on magic eight ball. So I just had like a desk just full of them. And every every decision I made, I grabbed an unused magic eight ball, flipped it over. Not sell. <laughs> this trade is not likely. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious I said Blackberry was a short this morning we, we made money on Blackberry today you should have stuck around we made money on Blackberry going all the way up to 11 can you imagine if I 
if I only did what I first said, oh my God. Okay, ESMT just started trading. ESMT. Like if I never changed my mind? What kind of moron is that? What do you think I am, a moron? I am not a moron. I can change my mind. <clears throat> Gotta listen to the whole stream, says Daniel Nelson. Okay, so ESMT, let's give it like two minutes to put in its first uh, range of trading here. It's looking rather good. Uh, volume is about medium again, same as the other one. Could be that everybody's holding out for uh, KDC or ARBK. <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't really have a mind. I don't change my mind. I, I follow the chart. Can you imagine if something went down and I was like, but it's supposed to go up, I said earlier this morning. <laughs> Man, talk about an amateur trader that would be. All right. Uh, if it breaks 37.88, I don't know why is that price up there, but I see. 37.88. So if we break 38.01, uh, you can get in for two dollars and fifty cents of risk on ESMT. Bag holders anonymous, yeah. Oh, okay. All right, Jordan. <laughs> no problem. No problem. <clears throat> uh, what is this question here on these IPOs? How do I get in at the lower price before it starts trading? Uh, you have to be an accredited investor, so that means you need to have over a million dollars in net, in net uh, liquidatable worth. And uh, then you have to be with one of the bigger um, brokerages, although some brokerages, I think Webull, maybe Robinhood, have been offering IPOs a little bit more, pre-IPO, yeah. And then you can get in uh, before public, before the public gets in, Okay. So that's just how it works. <laughs> just $999,999 away. Yes. But after this weekend of mowing lawns, uh, you should be able to get like two, three, four, five hundred dollars right? Professional bagels. Yeah, MRM is now at uh, 13.49. And we got out, I can't remember, 1625, I think it was. <clears throat> that was the all out after taking profits all the way up. Yeah, Webull has IPO options, but pre-IPO options. Oh, I see. Yeah, Corey got ARBK, for example, for $15. <laughs> well, yep. Any thoughts on SDC for tomorrow? Why? What's going on with SDC tomorrow? Uh, no, I really hate Smile Direct Club. It's just uh, been in a downtrend since January. I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't put my enemy's money on it. Well, maybe I would. <laughs> I'm just making a joke, fellas. Because some people got like really... Serious about the 999,000. <coughs> but, you know, it opens up talking points. It's good. But someone on Reddit said it was going to short squeeze. Yeah. I, I heard that Reddit's going to go public, going to have an IPO. That, that's crazy. That's the end of Reddit. <laughs> that was the exact voice you you typed it in yep 
Why do I say that's the end of Reddit? Because when you go public, you then have to comply with incredible uh, transparency and uh, people don't really invest in you unless you're ESG. Uh, can anyone tell me what ESG is? Right. Environmental, social, and governments. So what do you think that means on the social side? That means you have to include like equal amount of blacks, you know, black lives matter, social justice warriors, mobbing up on people, censoring speech, uh, all that bullshit is going to start to happen on Reddit. And so that's the end of Reddit. <laughs> Thorn, THRN just started trading. THRN. <clears throat> It's yeah, it's not even that your investors don't like saying what you want is that you can't get a high ESG score so you can't get a lot of uh, money funds and money managers to invest in you unless you have high ESG scores. And that's why, for instance, you know, Apple, Facebook, Google, all these companies have to do lots of social uh, compliance, right? And they lack the freedom of speech and uh, certain freedoms. So that, you know, that's really what's driving the whole kind of censorship problem is the ESG score. It's literally the ESG score. Like there should be an F in that score, ESFG. And like, you have to also have the highest score in freedom as well. And like maybe a C for communist, socialist, and like that should be very low. <clears throat> But ESG is, I mean, essentially ESG is a semi-socialist rating system, if you really think about it. So it's, it's not capitalist, it's not um, economic. It's meant to shut down stocks which are doing too good and raping the Earth's resources. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay, I'm looking for a turnaround on Rely that's where it closes, a five minute candle closes above a previous red, red candle high, has not done so yet. And we have the same situation forming on ESMT. And Thorn really isn't putting in much of a trading range. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ethics. I'm watching uh, ESMT to see if it comes back around. I'm watching Relay to see if it comes back around. So far, not. Logan, you can look up what they're indicated to open at. Arb K is indicated to open at 15. Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, UBS, BMO, Bank of America, Guggenheim, Jefferies, Morgan Stanley, and RBC are all getting behind the IPO of KDC. That's going to IPO um, uh, 800 million, almost a billion, uh, and uh, estimated to open at 15, um, was priced at 13. So, K if if anything, based on just the you know what I'm seeing here in the numbers. Uh, KDC is going to be 
the potential has the potential for being the hottest uh, IPO of the day. And I don't even know if it's going to be that hot. We'll see. But ARBK, I also like too, because it has a very small cap, 112 million. And it seems everybody's interested in it. And that might create uh, a lot of demand versus the supply. As you can see, Relay is crapping out. So no entry on Relay still. Yep. In a parallel nor universe, Norm, you are in the doghouse <laughs> today. <clears throat> in a parallel universe. You're biting your fingernails. You have no fingernails left. Why? Because in a parallel universe, you got into Relay at the open. And you're down a shitload right now. Because <laughs> you didn't wait for the signal. You didn't know to wait for the signals. No, I know that wasn't you. I'm saying in a parallel universe, before you learned about waiting for signals, I have to explain this joke to him. Never mind. Once you have to explain the joke, it doesn't become funny anymore. <laughs> okay. Where do you buy in on RWLK? Uh, right now, it just had a failed retest. And so you guys on RWLK, you should now be on the defense. <clears throat> we had a failed retest and a 75% retrace. So you should be thinking about getting out between 25 and 50% of your position on RWLK. You're no longer on the offense looking for taking profits. You're on the defense uh, looking to de-risk. This could be a good price right here, 247 for you to de-risk at, 25 to 50% of your position. In a parallel universe, yes. Now, nah, forget THRN. It didn't put in much of a trading range. We need to see these things like go nuts, go crazy. And uh, THRN, nah, it, just, it went from a low of 813 to a high of 8.9. It's not even a dollar of movement. So we're not too interested in THRN. And a widespread will, will be also another indication uh, of lack of interest, lack of demand. What signals? Oh, the signals for our strategy is like getting in um, at certain break points, at certain price level break points, uh, or pivot breakdowns and all those kinds of things. If you want to learn more about those signals, Send me a private message on uh, TikTok or click through to my profile from here and um, then click the link in my bio and that'll take you to our trading community. And I'm sure we'll, you can send me a private message there or I'm sure we'll talk and I can help you out learning more about <clears throat> the strategies that we use. All right, nice. Hope to see you soon. <clears throat> failure? Uh, and by failure, you mean crap out? I can't really say that yet because it it's only gone up. Look at the bottom of every candle. It's been appreciating. So gotta disagree with you. Um but you know, I think Thorn's not gonna go much of anywhere. All right, I'm getting a link for somebody right now who messaged me. There we go. What type of trading do I do? Pretty much momentum of breakout trend trading. That's what you call it. Momentum breakout 
trend trading uh, for day trading. And then um, <clears throat> I have a couple of also plays that I've created, but that's the main like uh, popular way we trade. Uh, and then also swing trading. I do swing trading and then I'll make investment. Uh, I'll give investment uh, alerts sometimes as well. Hey, thank you, man. So uh, we try to strive for making at least 1% on our portfolio per day. And uh, sometimes that'll be 10, 20, 30% or more on the rare occasion. But so long as you can make 1% per day consistently, and that's so easy to strive for. So consistently is what's important there. Then overall in one year in 253 trading days, you'll have made 1200%. So a $10,000 portfolio at 1% a day will be worth $120,000 in one year. And we have many members that I'm aware of who uh, are doing that or better. Uh, what we do have sometimes members do, and yesterday was a reminder of that, that it happens to everybody, and it's something that it could happen to me, anybody. It, it's just, it's all about your discipline, is uh, you need to stop uh, doing those once in a while crazy bets, and they don't work out, and you lose a ton of money. Because every time you do something stupid like that, it can take months, not a couple days, not a week. It can take months to recover from. And, it, and you can't even really recover unless you switch back to a very disciplined, perfect trading style. And then maybe it will take months for you to get back from a stupid move like that. So you can't make st these stupid mistakes. You have to limit your stupid mistakes to like once per year, you know, at most, because they will really set you back. Meme stocks? Yeah, we trade meme stocks when they're happening. Is AMC happening today? No. So we're not trading AMC today. Is GME happening today? No. So we're not trading it today. Was it happening at one point? Yep. Were we in it? Yep. We went all the way to the top and we made money on that day. The next day when it went down, were we still in it? Nope. We only make money. <laughs> we don't stay in things when they go down. We have a lot of rules to pr protect ourselves against stuff like that. Uh, we do lose money on trades, but very small amount. Uh, we stay in trades when they go up. When they start going down, we get out. It sounds simple, but you need to have rules understand chart reading, have strategies and rules to be able to do it over and over across dozens of stocks every day, every day. Uh, cool, man, who was that? Chef Boyardee, <laughs> awesome. No, it's, oh, is there an RKF? Really? I don't know, that must be a Canadian version or something of the offering. ARBKF is also ARBO. That's OTC. Uh, so ARBK is the stock ARBKF being uplisted in IPOing today on NASDAQ. I'm guessing that's what the difference is. If I pull up ARBKF, yeah, there's a history there of it getting to about $2. Uh, but today it's going to open uh, for trading on the NASDAQ stock exchange. Saludos. Uh, that's even worse. Yeah, um, that is actually what happens uh, the majority of the time, if not all the time, is let's say you have $10,000 and you uh, traded uh, with too much risk in such a way that you lost uh, $5,000 that day. It's insane uh, for most of our long-standing members to even think about such a loss a 50 percent loss in your portfolio but many new traders have gone through it it's not insane and um 
the thing is though, then they get into their next trade trying to get back to $5,000. And not only do they risk the same as when they had $10,000 and they lost five, and now they only have five, they don't proportion it down to that now they have $5,000 so they should risk half as much as they did before. Not only do they risk the same as when they had $10,000, but they tend to risk even more. So now they don't have $10,000, they have $5,000, but they're risking not only like they had $10,000, which lost them five, but they risk more than if they had more than $10,000. So that $5,000 more quickly and more easily becomes zero. So the correct way to trade is to use the 1% rule. And if you'd like to learn that rule, send me a private message and we'll get you a link to uh, my video lessons about the 1% rule. Uh, somebody in the group right now can post that link as a matter of fact. And um, you guys could go right into there and uh, sign up for that and, and learn about the 1% rule. Again, there's a link in my bio if anybody is interested in joining my trading community. Uh, that's in that we do a zoom a full screen zoom with very little lag that's where we are as a training community just click the link in my bio. Uh, you have to click over to my profile and then click the link in my bio. All right, somebody post the. Uh, market mastery link there what the hell happened to my screen all my screens are turning off i'm telling you my my computer is overheating I think. i'm going to probably have to end the stream soon just because of hardware problems here. Yeah, pretty much. These are the stocks that we're focusing on today. Yeah, these are the ones that are hot and moving and that they showed that they could be hot and moving today in pre-market. STR broke out. <laughs> of course, that's the one I don't have on my screen. STER. Uh, that's a good question, and I really feel that question. If a day trade doesn't go your way, do you ever stay in and hope for a good swing trade out of it? Okay. We have a rule. Never, ever, ever, ever convert a day trade to a swing trade. Never, ever, ever, ever hold a day trade overnight. Always 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 close your day trade before the final bell when the market closes so that is an absolute hard and fast rule that if you do not learn to live by you will someday learn to die by it unfortunately it is at least five times the risk to hold a day trade overnight yeah, not interested in STER. The trading range of it is not very impressive. Uh, Sovo just open for trading. Also not putting in much volume or range. So the IPOs today mostly dead. Uh, probably, uh, possibly though, KDC uh, and ARBK. Those are the ones that I'm more interested in anyway. <laughs> You're welcome, man. And really write that on a board. Never, ever, ever, ever hold a day trade overnight. A swing trade has to be calculated on the daily chart. There's You have to find the risk levels, and they're usually at least five times the risk of a day trade. And that's what kills you. It's not even that you screwed up on the day trade, which that hurts too. It's that if you hold a day trade overnight, there's about a 25% chance, and that's pretty high, one out of four, that when you wake up, it's going to be down like 20 to 50% or more. So that's an extreme high probability for an extreme loss. Like you can't, it's very bad. Any suggestions for long-term plays? Always Microsoft, a lot of the dividend stocks you could get into that I could recommend. Uh, Microsoft. Facebook, uh, Facebook right now uh, seems to be on a dip, so it could be a good buy to get Facebook. Yeah, Novavax has curved up and broken out. 
that's more of an ABCD play. <clears throat> should have should have let you guys know about that earlier, but yeah, Novavax had created an ABCD setup. Would I touch Wish based on today's action? No. That chart's just going down, 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 down since February. It was $33 in February. How much is it now? $6. Terrible. Take a look at the chart for Agilent, ticker A, and learn the difference. You want to be in something like Agilent, A, that's a beautiful chart. In fact, I think we alerted it today as a swing trade. Yeah, we did. Charge point, no, same as blink in the F cell. Sideways slash kind of down. So, uh, no, why would you put your money in it? Remember, I was just talking about how you can, if you can make 1% per day, you can make 12,000%, 1200% a year. So, charge point right now is at $20.50, the same price it was at in March. How are you going to make 1% a day if you invest in charge point and eight months later you haven't made a dime? See what I mean? See what I mean? So we guys, you got to rethink things, uh, the stocks that you like. You need to start learning how to read charts, learn how to read charts because the charts need to be going up, 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 and then you get in and it continues to go up, 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 up about 80% of the time. Sava, no, shit, totally crapped out recently. Again, read the charts. RWLK making a little bit of progress. Yes. We've got a bit of a curve up there. Coke. Yeah, let's see. So Coke is like another one of these companies that you could have in your portfolio, like your forever portfolio, which you should have, by the way. Uh, it pays a 3% dividend, which is good, especially for Coke and Coca-Cola, that is. <laughs> and... Uh, you, the reason why you would put it into a forever portfolio is because you would never sell it. Uh, and you could, and trigger a capital gains. So, you know, for the next 50 years, you could stay in Coke. A good swing on Coke? There's not good swings on Coke. Coke is practically a fucking utility. Where's the growth on Coke? Can somebody tell me a territory on earth where Coke is not? How is Coke going to grow? It's, it's everywhere already. There's no growth in that. They just have to keep up sales. Revenue. It's a revenue machine, but there's no growth. What are they going to create? Digital Coke? Well, maybe. <laughs> but, uh, you know, but really, there's, there's no growth in Coke. Coke is basically a utility company. It provides Coca-Cola. <laughs> on tap right it's no longer like a whoa what is this a discovery an innovative discovery and it's spreading all over the globe and what an investment you know no it's not that it's not a growth company it's a utility so the what you expect from a utility company though is a dividend and it really should give you more than a four percent dividend but it's giving you 3.1 and if you bought it at the low during the pandemic drop you probably would be getting more than four percent That's right. When aliens invade Earth, they'll buy Coke and open up a whole new revenue stream. And I'm sure the market will do just fine when aliens invade Earth. <laughs> That's not going to depress the market any more than fucking China's Evergrande. <laughs> Crypto Coke. Ooh, I like that. That would be one way to make Coke seem innovative, wouldn't it? If underneath each lid, you got like 0, 0.0, you got a micro Bitcoin, 0. 0.0001 Bitcoin. That would be kind of cool. And it had a QR code and you can redeem it and beep. And then you could literally get the Bitcoin. Like instead of five cents, it's five cents kind of in crypto. 
dude, they, they, they need to like hire me as their CEO. That would be a incredible, that would skyrocket Coke above Pepsi in market share. <laughs> because imagine, you know, I mean, they have like a CRV or whatever value of five cents. So what if you also, you know, just gave like two, three, four, five cents in uh, Bitcoin? That would be so cool. And there's like a little QR code under the cap. Yeah. I could see people going in the stores, like popping caps and all the bottles. <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah, that too. Uh, underneath the bottle caps could be NFTs for sure. Well, good. You have Coke and Microsoft. Awesome. Yeah, those are good. Yeah. And you should have those in your forever portfolio with an intention to never, ever sell and realize a capital gain. Instead, it should be in a margin account so that you can borrow against it to buy a home one day, you know, put some money down on a home or any kind of, uh, I recommend like a cash flow asset will be much better to borrow. You don't want to necessarily borrow uh, to not go into business. Never go into debt in personal life. Debt should be used for business, for business, for making money. Never use debt for personal items in life, for personal life. Good tip. Yeah, totally. Man, house? No, uh, not really. Well, okay, plus the mortgage, yeah. I mean... Yeah, if you want one. Logan, I don't know how old you are, but before you buy a house for yourself, buy five for other people. Before you get yourself your first house for yourself, have five houses that are cash flowing for you, which means, you know, you're renting them out. You put 20% down on each of them and you're renting them out. Rental income. Yeah. Or there, you know, yeah. Or have a plan. There you go. I like that, Logan, you know. Yeah. Have a plan to put like an Airbnb in the back of the property or rent out the basement. Sure. So anyway, the nice thing about borrowing on margin against your forever assets is the money, this is this is crazy, right? Number one, you avoid paying taxes on the gains of your of your stocks, okay, by not selling them. Number two, you take out the margin loan against that and you use that money as a down payment on a cash flow property. So now that money is actually going to earn you, if it's rental income, uh, more than like let's say five, seven percent, whatever your margin loan is gonna be. So that 20,000, whatever the 20% rather of down payment on a cash flow property is going to pay off the interest on the loan that you got against your stock. Okay. But the amazing thing is this the interest on the loan is tax deductible. So the money that you're using to pay back the loan that bought you that asset that's because you only had to put 20% down is worth five times more than the, than the 20% you pulled out is completely tax deductible and creating cash flow. And that asset will be appreciating the real estate that you bought with it will be appreciating. It's a, you know, this is why the wealthy get wealthy. And this is why the tax code is built the way it is is because that's what creates wealth and growth is you don't have to pay taxes. If you do this, right. Another thing you can do uh, later in life is you can buy things from charities like your local church or something, including services like l mowing your lawn. Uh, but or you could buy a, you know, a car from your church or whatever, and you can gift them. You can donate them shares of your stock so that they never sell. So it won't sell. Then it becomes a tax deductible. I mean, a tax free event. BRLT just started trading at about 13. It seems to be moving a little bit more than our typical stocks. Let me take a closer look. BRLT, I think it was called like Bright Earth or something. 
VRLT. Okay, yes, this is a lot more liquid. Uh, you guys can go ahead and get in in a moment here. Uh, let's see what kind of range it puts in. This is trading a lot more liquid than the other ones. Woo, there's a lot of interest in this. All right, if it breaks 14, go ahead and get in for a dollar of risk. Here it goes. It did just break 14 for a dollar of risk. Get in. It's going to halt at 1444 dollar of risk on BRLT. Norm, you already took two profits on what? On stair, you were in stair. Oh, cool, man. Yeah, so yeah, it did move and it did provide some profit after all. Okay, uh, we are past the halt level. The halt level has been raised to 1497. We're at 1440. Uh, you're taking profits now already on BRLT, your first profit point, 5 to 20% underneath the 1450 level. Underneath every 50 cent level, you take a 5 to 20% profit. We're now moving up towards the halt level of 1488. It hit 1485. Halt level is 1488. They may raise. Yes, it was just raised to 1522. And we just hit 1512. You're now taking your second profit target at right here around the 15 level. And um, it's about to halt at 1522. Uh, we pull back just a little bit. Move your stop to break even. You've taken two profits now, 5 to 20%. It's moving nice and smooth. I would err on the side of 5% profit taking. We are pulling back now to 1475. Let's see what happens here. BRLT. All right. How are you guys doing on BRLT? Did anybody get in <laughs> after all that excitement? Uh, yeah, you need to have $25,000 in your account to day trade more than three times every five days. All right. BRL, BRLT is breaking 15 again, and it's about to test 15.22 high. We have a decent amount of liquidity going on there. It's very active, uh, but is there enough financial interest? I don't know. Uh, it just broke to 1535 briefly. Uh, you want to be taking 5 to 20% out underneath 1550. Should we get really close to that? You can already uh, pre fill your order for that. There's a huge amount of orders at 15 right now, a lot of dumping at 15. So the brick wall of orders at 15. That we're gonna have to get through not huge not huge we could get through it it can happen <clears throat> gotta be prepared if you want to get these opportunities okay rbk just started trading at 15 it hit 15 27 briefly and it's now back to about 15. ARBK, we're watching it. BRLT, BRLT now moving towards, looking like it's going to break out again. 1535 is now at 1525, 1529, back to 1512, 19, 1507. It's a lot of volatility back and forth between the bid and the ask. ARBK still hanging out around 1515, not much movement there. In, all right, Jason's in, excellent. <clears throat> you can already pre-fill your order to sell five to twenty percent of your position in BRLT. I would err towards the twenty percent now since it's been struggling uh, underneath the fifteen fifty level. So like fifteen thirty seven, fifteen forty two, any of that. It's hanging out around fifteen ten. I mean, it just hit fourteen ninety one. Somebody wanted to sell that market. You know, market sell, there's a market buy order. Bit more selling, bit more selling, larger amount of selling going on right now. <coughs> Not much buying, there's a small order for 300 shares. A lot more selling, a lot more selling interest than buying at the moment. Nobody buying with FOMO anyway. I mean, there's buyers. There's a small FOMO order. Another one, there's another one. There's another two, three. All right, it's starting to pick up in, in FOMO. FOMO. I admit it, I'm a FOMO sexual. <laughs> I love the FOMO. 
<laughs> no, there's a lot of FOMO buying right now, but uh, it's not following through enough. It's not enough to chew up the demand, to, to the supply to sell. How can you tell their FOMO orders? Because they're at market. There we go, 15.59, 15.77. Get ready to take out another five to 20% under 16. But you should have just right now got your pre-filled order right around the 15.50 uh, level. So good job there. That's your third profit target so far on this breakout on BRLT. Uh, I do believe that means, uh, I forget what the risk was. If it was a dollar, I think. So you should be up 1.5 R, I believe on this. Am I right? Who's in this? I think you should be up about 1.5 R now, which is really good. All right, we're hitting 1583. There you go. That's a great spot to take 5 to 20% out at. Uh, unfortunately, it's pulled back to 1563. All right, 1588. 1575. All right, we're hanging out in the upper end of 15. Uh, definitely a place where you could take 5 to 20% out. Uh, there's been very little sell uh, interest a bit of FOMO and then a lot of orders in between. Not there, here comes a little slew of FOMO. Here we go. Whoa, a whole run of green uh, market order buying. That should eat through. Uh, we've got about 10,000 to eat through at 1580. There we go. We hit 1590, no, 1588. I saw 1590 on the books for a second there. There we go, 1590, 1594, only 50 shares there. We're gonna easily break the 16, I think, any second here. Just need one little, there we go, burst of FOMO, and that was it. And we just were slammed into 16, hit 1602, 1607, 1614, 1619, 1624, 1629. And can we get up to about 1650, 35, 55, 68? There you go. Take another 5 to 20% off at the 1650 level. This is, I believe, your fourth or your fifth profit target. BRLT, probably the biggest winner on the day. Uh, you might be around 3R now. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, 3.5 R. All right, we've got only about 2,000 orders to go through at 1650. We can definitely do that if this thing keeps exploding. There we go, 1684, 1689, 1696. We're going to halt at 1697, 1688, 1690. Come on now. We just need a little more interest and we might be able to halt this puppy. <coughs> Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Is that what this company does? I have no idea. 1697, here we go, halt level, halt level, halt level, 17, the halt level just got raised to 1719, and we're at it, we're at 1719, holding, so we, we can halt, come on, nope, pulling back, 1719, 1710, 1719, we're getting close, make sure you take another 5 to 20% off, Ooh, we're halting, 1719 is probably going to get raised in a second here, no, nope, we might halt, here it comes, possibly halting, Ooh, that was so close, uh we pulled back and uh, the new halt level will probably be raised we'll see in just a moment here yes the new halt level 1749 we're at 1720 high 17 right now we're at 17. <coughs> new halt level 1749 we are talking about brlt somebody was asking i'll put it right up here on mrm <coughs> There it goes. 1715, looking good. Let me change the name on this to BRLT. Is that what they do, Emma? Diamonds? All right, 17, we're holding 17. Okay. Bright light diamonds, all right. All right, we're trying to break 1720 halt levels now 1787 so i don't know if that's going to get hit or not 1710 is the next barrier to get through right now there's uh quite a few orders at that level not too far away from 1720 and we're getting bought up here so this is good you looked at their website before you proposed to the wife wow <laughs> lab made of ethically sourced diamonds sold online and I believe they have at least one showroom. That's awesome. Diamonds for communists. What's next? <laughs> Where do I see the halt levels and the time and duration of the halt? 
Richard, $175 a month software called Dash Trader will do it for you. <clears throat> You're welcome. I two people said thanks on different platforms at the same time. Uh, you're all welcome. I don't know what I just said. Okay, uh, we're having a first pullback. So uh, <coughs> let's see what happens here on the two minute candles. We're getting the first two minute pullback. Um, we have no stop yet, except your break even on this. Uh, that level has not been established. Uh, the stop is uh, 1475 way down there like I want it to be much higher but we have to let this breathe and it's pulling back uh, but your break even is your stop especially if you've taken multiple price targets oh yeah 1475 I believe is above your stop what did we get in at this we got we got in on this at what 14 I think 14. all right so uh as these candles start to form uh, we'll see if we can get a green over a red candle, uh, second potential chance entry <clears throat> during this uh, first pullback. In anticipation of the run and breakout. Rely uh, just will not put in that bottom reversal candle, so... <clears throat> I'm going to take it off of the radar. Just don't think it's happening today. <coughs> Only natural diamonds. Is that is this it right there? Was that the commercial? I think I just saw a commercial for you. Is, it, is that their slogan? Only natural diamonds or something? No, it could have been. I don't know. I mean... I'm just being a jerk here and I'm being sarcastic, but I don't know, you know, I, I kind of want some struggle put into my diamond, you know, I wouldn't mind there to be a little bit of <laughs> blood on its hands. <laughs> I want some history there, you know, <laughs> you know, I'd like a, you know, can I get that in my uh, VSG rating or whatever they call that? Can I get like a history of the struggle behind the diamond? <laughs> yeah, just a little conflict, <laughs> maybe. Maybe somebody got divorced over it earlier. <laughs> a sprinkle of conflict. <coughs> That's why I like my diamonds pink, because I like blood in them, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, God. First world country jokes. Kind of rude. Kind of rude. Not funny, says somebody. <laughs> That's okay. It's funny in my own mind. I'll tell Hitler. He'll laugh. <laughs> I'm getting banned from TikTok again. Yeah. Arb K. There's the breakout on Arb K. You can get in for $1 a risk right now. Arb K. It's getting hot. 200,000 shares traded. Arb K, $1 risk. Halt level 1648. It's moving. It's moving. <clears throat> I don't know why AMHC has been going down all day, but that's what they do. If they don't go up, they got two other ways they can go sideways or down. And AMHC just, you know, that's the way it wants to go. All right. So hopefully you guys are in. <coughs> Arb K. Uh, right there, and uh, if so, then be prepared to take profits right under 16. Here it comes, 1580, 1589, and uh, 1594 is actually the highest price. 1590, there's a bit of quite a few orders at 1590.
1590, that's where we're slamming up against right now. 1594, great, we broke through. 1596, 97, 99, 16, we have 244,000 shares, a giant order to sell at 16. Everyone's going to be selling and getting away from that. Make sure you take 5 to 20% of your position, probably 20%, just in case we can't break through 16. There's a huge quarter of a million share order to sell at 16. <coughs> And it's now down to 230,000. All right, now we're chewing up 1595, 15.99. And let's see if that order is still at 16 or if they moved that quarter of a million share order. <clears throat> this is think or swim. Well, there's an 8,000 share order there at least. I can't quite see that deep right now on the level two. Over on BRLT, we're still in it. We're going to be looking for the first candle to break over a red candle high on BRLT to get an, uh, another entrance for momentum. <clears throat> a higher risk pre-breakout anticipatory entrance. All right, like I said, we could not get through 16. Giant order there. <clears throat> No, ARBK, A-R-B-K. You're so late to get in now, Tom. Uh, it might be too late. ARBK. And the guy right before you just said it, who wrote it, wrote it to you, David M. ARBK. <laughs> Sound like I said R-K? All right. <clears throat> okay, prepare for entry, uh, re-entry, second chance entry, anticipatory higher risk entry on B-R-L-T. If it goes to... 1625 uh, you can get in for 75 cents of risk 1625 75 cents of risk man i'm craving like a hamburger gonna have to have a hamburger in a little bit afrm now shooting up another dollar i think some of you are in afrm way to go on that uh arnaz second breakout after crap out and break down uh turned out to be fruitful uh it moved from 425 ish all the way to 525 ish <clears throat> that could have provided some gains uh, i would love to invest for people but i'm going to need to get the sec license for that so i'll be getting that this fall uh but go ahead and shoot me a private message you know and i'll get you on the right track anyway Arnaz. All right, there's a very strong pullback on Arb K. <clears throat> Still uh, in it to your break even. Make sure you have a stop at your break even. <clears throat> We're looking for the break of. 16, 1625 on BRLT with 75 cents of risk. Hey, you're welcome, man. Whatever happened to Fisker? Yeah, I didn't like it. So we didn't get in it today. <clears throat> Look at that neuro now at 12.5. It's bleeding out all day. And rely, same thing. ESMT, pretty much the same thing. Sovo, never triggered. Thorn, never triggered. Both of those too low in volume anyway. Jonathan, uh, I've thought about it, but probably not. Probably not. Uh, there it is. We're starting to come up on BRLT 1625 break. If it does, 75 cents of risk to get in. It's got to break 1625. So you got to see 1626. <clears throat> it did not do that yet, but it but it could. And if it does, that's a signal. There it is. There's the break. No, no, hold on. It did not print. Did it? Yes, it did. No, it didn't. <laughs> 
did it print 1626 i think it did 1626 <clears throat> on brlt that's a preemptive uh, anticipatory higher risk uh entrance pre-breakout of the 1720 level uh you need to put your stop at 1550 if this doesn't follow through when these work you get a lot of extra gain out of them but it looks like it's already failing i'm going to go ahead and call exit now because that is a failed retest followed by a breakdown so that's a, a bad signal so de-risk go defensive on brlt second entry there if you got in <clears throat> we're still in arb k down to your break even i don't know how long r nas will run um i don't think it's moved in price in a while it might be halted on news <clears throat> i don't have it up at that oh no it's moving um anyway it will keep going uh as long as it does i mean there's no reason to guess just fucking be in it don't be a chicken <laughs> Dude, how much longer do you think arnaz will go i don't know but you know if you're in it you're loving it and you and keep holding <laughs> <clears throat> I just noticed that comments from an hour ago. That guy's probably long gone. And I just called him a chicken and he didn't even get to hear it. Damn. <laughs> what a great green candle on spy. Man. Wouldn't be surprised if tomorrow was another green candle plus a skip, plus a gip, gap. A gip. A skip, gap, a scap. A scap. Uh, you guys over on TikTok, uh, don't forget to uh, click through to my bio to uh, come join our trading community. Uh, I'm going to reboot the TikTok in a minute. Uh, so you guys over on TikTok, make sure you click through the link in my bio uh, in order to continue being with us. And then you can join our Zoom. All right. I will talk to you guys on TikTok later. Look at Spygo, the little engine that could. And the Dow is so smooth. Industrials are where the fucking bet is at today. XLI, XLF, XLE, so smooth. <clears throat> Arnaz, what will I do once I get my license? Um, there are uh, so many uh, possibilities, but I'm sure one of the first things I'll work on is getting all the paperwork together to start my own private hedge fund. <clears throat> and then I will take investors' money, and they'll uh, have to sign it that they'll uh, commit that money to me on an annual basis, so they can't just take it out. Uh, and then we'll use that money to make them lots of money. And then I will get a portion of whatever I make them. So if I don't make money for them, I don't make money. That's the way to do it. And RJ will be my fucking trader. That's absolutely, man. <laughs> you got a job there, that's for sure. And you don't even live that far away. But come on. The hedge fund's going to be in Miami. Everybody knows that. <laughs> What are we gonna do in Austin? What are we gonna do in Dallas? Count sand? <laughs> yeah, gotta relocate that one. Arb K, yep, 
Still going, Arb K. There we go. Now, the cool thing about that break up that just happened, the breakout on Arb K, is it creates a new stop loss level for us. Now on Arb K, your stop is 15.4. And by the way, when it went right underneath 16.5 there, you needed to take out 5 to 20% of your position as another profit target. I'm sure RJ already had that typed in. He doesn't slack off until he's done his work. Be like RJ. What would RJ do? <clears throat> yeah, Daniel. I mean, you know, there's probably got to be account minimums. And you, you'd, in order for me to take somebody's money, you'd have to be an accredited investor. You have to have like over, I don't know what the number, I think it's 500000 or a million dollars liquidatable net worth. So that's not everybody. But I do have some members who already want me to call them up when it's time. Somebody will just give me 500 thou here, 400 thou there. We have no problem, that, you know, once I open up shop, we have no problem getting investors and getting money. The problem is opening the shop and getting my license. <clears throat> this is a this is a very tough skill to master, you know, and you know, if you can find a winning private hedge fund, give them your money. If you're an accredited investor, give them your money. Let them make money for you. Now that definitely, you need to check with your financial advisor on that. That definitely is not financial advice. <laughs> I do not know your situation. There's no way I could know your financial situation. So there's no way I could give you individual financial advice over a stream don't do that unless you <laughs> decide to do it no 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 you're mixing up a bunch of things Todd but um I think you should look them all up on Google figure that shit out <laughs> hey, just look up what accredited investor means on Google and it's something you want to learn about. Freshworks is starting to come back up to the open. <clears throat> uh, but it has a long way to break yesterday's high and that's where we would be interested in it. 49. ARBK still making progress. It's at 1630. The high is 1645. That's looking good. Make sure you take 5 to 20% off, you know, up there underneath that 50 cent level. I think I'm fading and I'm going to turn that into a break for lunch, which I'm going to turn into a break uh the end of the session so this was a long morning session we did pretty okay on a couple of stocks at the open and uh then we traded these ipos the only ipo left that you guys need to watch out for is kdc all right and uh keep holding on arb k uh you can always ask rj for help as to what the stops are uh the current stop on arb k just got moved up because it rebroke out Get ready to sell under, sell under seventeen dollars uh, on ARBK. Another take profit, uh, but your stop now is sixteen on ARBK. Sixteen is the all-out stop. It is not a hard stop. You'll have to watch it and baby watch babysit it when it hits. Um, <clears throat> your all-out stop obviously is your break-even, but sixteen should be much higher than your all-out stop at this point. All right, ARBK is still making progress. Pretty cool. Now, remember, at the end of the day, close all your day trades. That's an absolute hard, fast rule. Number one rule in day trading, never hold a day trade overnight. Close it at the closing bell. Um, uh, if you must uh, sell 80% of the position, if you must hold some, the degenerate in you, whatever, 
please sell at least 80% of your position and only hold 20% overnight. That's like the exception to the rule. All right, later guys. Uh, it's been an excellent day today. Uh, introducing people to our to our primetime trading group. And uh, thank you everybody who helped uh, new people you know, understand what what's going on in here. And look at that SPY go, new high on the day. What an excellent, excellent day. You guys should be able to do well today, even without me for the rest of the day. Uh, let's keep our fingers crossed that the market keeps doing this. I think it's going to gap open tomorrow and put in another green day. Well, we shall see. Uh, I'll be the first one to be wrong. No problem. Okay, guys.